Greetings, friends. Come on in to the West Wing of the OnePlay eSports Spectrum, where Nitin Nambia, the notorious godfather of gaming, and myself are raring to go with match night 2.5 in the VPG Asian Super League. Shout out to Yusuf in the house, the tournament director. Yusof. The brilliant head of VPG of Asia is here. And when he's here, everything tends to go very well. And I say that because yesterday, things didn't go very well, Nitin. Those blasted EA servers delaying our debut return to the studio after a break that's been too long. But we're here tonight and raring to go with two great matchups, starting with a Hong Kong derby. Yes, uh, definitely. Yesterday was a bit of a bummer. Um, EA Sports, again, with uh, server issues, is starting to become a bit of a norm. Uh, I understand it hasn't happened in a while, but still, for a company that's making uh, billions in, of dollars from customers, I think the server should be fixed. It's a disgrace. I think th there was some talk the launch of Madden might have had something to do with it in North America. Either way, uh, we're glad here on Monday that we've been given the green light and we can bring you our full broadcast. We are, of course, delighted here at One Play Sports to be bringing you the VPG Asian Super League. We already have had some matches uh, last night, so let's run you through the games that did take place. And I must say, speaking to Yusuf earlier, the tournament director, some of these games, unfortunately, were played in far from ideal conditions in terms of lag. Uh, a moment Silence, if you will, for the poor boys of Team Spirits, who got tonked 13 nil across the two games, a 9 nil and a 4 nil by the Thai boys of To The Moon. Elsewhere, there was a big win for Classico before they got beaten in the return match by the 11 Dragons. Uh, Maximus, they did manage to pull off a double, one of only two teams to manage that on Sunday night. We were supposed to bring you that jubbly eSports PSHM game. The boys from Malaysia having to make do with just one win on the night. But it's a long journey on the group stage as all of our teams here in the Super League bid to qualify for the knockout rounds. Now, the games we're bringing you tonight, there are two of them. We start with that Hong Kong derby. I'm going to call it the Orchid Tree derby because that's the uh, leaf that's on the Hong Kong flag. So I'm oh. coining that. It's nice. the Orchid Tree Eco. Doesn't quite work. Uh, FC Apricot are also in action tonight against Press Play VFC. And good luck to Nasi, Katok, and the unique FC boys. They are our two games. You can see the live matches we bring you. Uh, the Chingdi and FC Revival Hong Kong Clash. And then the Cavs against Econo Esports to follow. And, of course, the Royal Cavaliers have got a special place in our heart knitting because they are the boys that we commentated on in our first ever broadcast as a commentating duo. And who would have thought five years after that illustrious evening we'd be here now with the best-known shoutcaster duos across planet esports. Yeah, it's been a wonderful five years uh, do doing this. We've built a wonderful community. We five years? You. Yeah. I know it feels like You five said years. five years. Did I? Sorry. <laughs> five months. Yeah, so it's, it's it's been a wonderful journey. We've built a wonderful little community here. Um, lots of lovely people commenting. Uh, nice to have met some of you in person. Nice to have met some of you online. So um, long may this continue and... Uh, Let's see the pro club scene grow from side to side from FIFA 20 to 21. Yeah, great work from VPG and One Play Sports in this collaboration. So many tournaments ongoing. I know we're streaming live games from Indonesia tomorrow night as well in Indonesian Bahasa. Uh, now, call to action. We're all about building a community here, as Nitin said. LSFC is the name of the game. Please do like, share, follow and comment. There you have it, LSFC. We're all about connecting communities and creating heroes. And we've created heroes all the way through our esports coverage. Just to programming note though because we're going live on the one play esports page and being cross posted to other pages if you are going to leave a comment make sure you're watching on the one play esports page uh, show double t travis tan some love and give the one play esports page a like and a follow tonight and you can comment on us to us there and of course we'll be giving shout outs all the way through our coverage so leave your comments in the comment section that is there for you now tonight's matchup let's get straight to it because we were a little late on air by a couple of minutes so we want to get the uh, players into action as soon as possible tonight's big match knitting is between the two teams that were first and second in the hong kong league little between them i think the last time they played it was a nil nil draw so a difficult match to call between ching d and FC Revival. Yeah, definitely. Uh, first against second, it's always going to be tight. It's going to be high in quality. Um, you can expect a very tactical game if uh, that's how the game flows. But um, again, yeah, two quality sides. You're right. The last time they met was nil-nil. Previously, before that, they met in April as well. And Ching Di came out 2-1 winners. So um, anticipating a very, very tough tie today. Okay, there's the team lineups. Let him talk us through them, if oh. you would, please, because I know there's been a late change. Programming note, uh, no super lie. as centre-back for FC Revival. S. ESP Quan is now going to play centre back, so they're a late change, but they have got up top in Kelvin Mann, a top class striker in it. 
Yep, definitely. Uh, we'll start with Ching Di. Um, they're playing a 4-3-3 today. Red Forest in goal. Prince Foley and Martin Dubravka, the centre-backs. Worst skill and uh, Miss Tin Hei, our left-back, right-back. Kittle for the sixth place. Um, central defensive midfielder. Alvin Tung and uh, FVS Lil Nelly play central midfield. Uh, Jergo is playing right wing. Super Mech is playing striker and Billy Mayun is playing um, left wing and from what I understand Billy Mayun is a huge threat he's got a 1.5 goal per game average which is uh, for left winger is very impressive so he's someone we'll have to look out for What's your goal per game average? I'm a central defensive midfielder I don't score often I'm a very tactical player I keep the, 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 the passes moving and I keep my team ticking You're the engine room I'm the Chavi. Okay anyway Chavi. Off, off, off Chavi. Me, on to FC Revival. Um, they're playing a 4-3-3 as well. First day in goal. Uh, answer ESP Kwan, a, a late uh, introduction. K217 and Super Chicharito make up the defense. Kelvin Low, MRA, and uh, Zwaings make up the midfield. And uh, Sam Pro Clubs on the left. Sam Pro Club. That's an interesting name. Uh, Kelvin MMM is striker. And HK Leo is right winger for FC Revival. Um, their star player is Kelvin MMM. He has uh, 25 matches and 21 goals, so it's a very impressive uh, goal-scoring ratio. A reminder of the format of this. The teams play each other twice, but it's not two legs. It's two separate matches, home and away. Um, three points for a win, as you would find in the normal Champions League, the UEFA Champions League, all the teams looking to get through to the round of 16 knitting. So competition is fierce, competition is tough, and obviously you can't really win your group through the first couple of games, but you can lose it. And as we've seen before in our tournaments, seeding is important. You want to try and finish top if you can. Yes, definitely. Uh, you, you know, um, it's all about your, your progress throughout the tournament. If you start the group stages, well, I feel you've got a good chance into the knockout stages. But we've also seen the opposite. We've also seen teams who finish um, second in their group and uh, go, go on to go to the final or the semi-final. So um, I'm, on, I'm in a bit of the middle in terms of how important the group stages are, but... Uh, if I was managing a team, I'd want them to win every game. I want them to finish top of the table to have a better chance in the uh, knockout phases to face a weaker team, if, if, if you like. Mm. Uh, what do we know about the, the quality across Asia of FIFA Pro Club? Because obviously we had the Pro Club Challenge where we featured a, a select group of countries. Uh, then we had the C Nations Cup, which was a great boost for the C Nations. I know mm -hmm. some of the developing nations, the likes of uh, the Philippines, the likes of Brunei. Brunei in particular really improved through that competition. And we know they've got the talent there, yep. which will obviously translate to the club level. And then we had the Asian uh, Cup, which really was spectacular uh, the way that but we're here for coverage of that during the semi-finals and the final. Yeah. Uh, which nation do you think is most likely to provide the winner of this? Because we've got so many. We've got Hong Kong. We've got those Chinese teams. We've got Singapore and Malaysia. Obviously, two of the standard bearers and Vietnam. Where do you think the prize is going to end up at the end of this great month-long competition? I think you can't ignore the Malaysians. They've uh, throughout all the pro club series that we've run anyway. They've done very well, and uh, it, it'll be hard to ignore them. With regards to other teams that I that I'm looking to um, to do well. Hong Kong have a good team, Thailand have a good team, um, Vietnam have a good team. So, we, in terms of the standard of Asian pro, the, the Asian pro club scene, I think it's very high. One thing I will say, we've got obviously my hero, my pro club hero, Rivox, who's the player manager for yeah. the Amigos. He won the Sea Nations Cup and he won the Asian Nations Cup. The Malaysia won that as well, didn't they? Or am yeah. I getting confused? I they won that. So. And they won the Pro Club Challenge. Yeah. I mean, he really is faultless. But in their opening group games, uh, I think they played on Saturday, they won one and lost one. So interesting that Amigos, I'd have thought, bearing in mind the quality through the ranks that we've seen so often before, mm. might be bidding to go through the uh, Champions League unbeaten. By the way, having said that, I do, I do. Um, we are, by the way, having a slight delay in the game, so don't worry, you're not missing any of the action. We're just waiting for the players to reset. I couldn't believe in the real Champions League, the UEFA Champions League, that Bayern Munich were the first ever team to win it this season, winning every single game. So that just goes to show in any uh, walk of football, whether it's esports or the real thing, how hard that is to do. Does that not surprise you that Bayern Munich were the only team, bearing in mind some of the great sides that have won it over the years, were the only team that went through the whole competition winning every game? That's amazing. I, Did I, you not know I, that? I... I, I, I I didn't know that, but um, I support Spurs. We played Bayern Munich in the group stage and we lost every game. They won every game in the group stage. So after you say that, it kind of made sense that, 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 that they won every game. But again, an amazing achievement. Um, not just the coaching staff, the players as well for carrying out the instructions and uh, fully deserved. So again, um, like I said earlier, getting to the group stage, uh, top of the group, winning every game, it b gives you confidence, uh, confidence that your opponents may not have and that could be the, the key to reaching the final and winning the competition. And obviously we had the server problems last night. We're going back to the uh, EA Sports Pro Club football now. 
we have heard reports over the weekend that teams were suffering from lags. I've told you the Amigos have lost. It, it clearly is a huge... I mean, we had, we had this argument, didn't we, whether you had the advantage playing at home in the second leg. But, but that aside, it's clearly a huge advantage. You have to make your home games count because you never know what you're going to face in terms of lag when you go away from home, particularly with the huge distances that are being travelled in, in the virtual space. Uh, I'm just being told, do apologize. Do apologize. Now, this is a, a new one for us. We're actually going to join this game in progress. Let's cross live uh, to the Ching D uh, Stadium for the second half, I'm being told. Now, carry on talking, Nitin. Answer my question. I was talking to you about the advantage you get away from home. Uh, or disadvantage, I should say. I, I don't, again, I, I don't think there's an advantage or a disadvantage in terms of playing home or away, but you're right, there is uh, severe lag issues uh, that can happen if you're a Malaysian team, for example, playing against Saudi Arabia away. Um, it's going to be very tough uh, because, as we saw in the Asi Asian Cup, um, lag can be a huge issue. And uh, we saw Malaysia play an uh, attacking brand of football at home and they literally parked the bus away to Saudi Arabia because they knew they'd be dealing with lag issues. So um, you've got to get it right tactically as well and, and uh, that's very important. Well, we'll wait and see what happens. I had been told uh, moments ago they did start the game without us, and it was very early stages. They are going to restart it so we can enjoy the action uh, from the start. Uh, on the research you've done, Nitin, I know you've been spending hours. Uh, you've had a, a free day today, apart from uh, preparing for this. <laughs> so what? Uh, what who do you think is going to come out on top? Chingdi obviously have the, the Hong Kong title in the bag, but only a couple of points behind them in the league or FC Revival. Uh, who's your pick going to? I see Chingdi winning one match and drawing the other. Uh, that's how I feel this is going to go. Um, it'll be great. It's great. It's going to be a great game because we got two teams from Hong Kong. So in terms of lag, there shouldn't be any lag. They should be uh, be able to play their free flowing style of football and everything. So looking forward to exciting games. But I do believe Ching Di have a slight advantage. Yeah, certainly quality all through the team. And uh, on my little scouting reports, that Billy Aha Yun who you mentioned, he's clearly going to be a man to look out for. And one thing you have to have, I, it's strange, isn't it? Maybe I, I think in the real football as well, the teams that we've seen succeed all have one standout player. Wu Yang, Wu Yang Ping, obviously. Exactly, no, he plays for To the Moon, right? And they won yeah. 14 nil. I'm sure 30, he's got he's nine got, and four. He's got probably eight goals of that from 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 that match. I'll have to check. Yusuf, can you help us check if Wu uh, Yao, Wu Yang Ping? Oh, he's changed clubs. He's been transferred. So, come on, you're supposed to be my expert here. Can you keep up to date with these kind of things? Oh, man, you're supposed way, to follow all these. What the this, you're here, you're the expert. You're my colour I'm the pro club expert. I'm not like, I don't follow these guys everywhere they go. This is pro clubs. Exactly. No. You're the expert. I'm an expert at the game. But it's, we're not talking about any old player. We're talking about Wu Wa Wu Yang Ping. Exactly. By the way, shout out Trung Dang, a dear friend of ours. Trung Dang! Trung Dang is one of the Legend. Royal, Royal Cavaliers. He's one of the Royal Cavaliers, is he? Royal Cavaliers? So. Uh, no, is I don't think so. VN. I think Brotherhood VN. Or the yeah. VN Brothers. There's Brotherhood so many. VN. There's, the, there's a, the, the Brotherhood VN and VN Brothers thing has to change, guys. One of you have got to change your names. What? While we're waiting for this game to start, do give us a, a shout out on the Facebook page. We'll give your name a mention. Uh, Imran's there. We've got Trung Dang there. Well, you've all gone very quiet during the Pro Club Challenge. You're all over us. Um, but uh, no messages so far. Uh, we are hoping, goodness gracious me, it's quarter past 11. I hope you haven't got to be up early tomorrow because it looks like we're going to be here for quite some time. Um, I don't have to be up early tomorrow, but I do have a busy day at work. So, come on, Yusuf, let's get this going. I'm sure the the the, the five hundred five thousand people that are watching, uh, super excited to see the game. So we shouldn't keep them waking. Come on, Yusuf. Yeah, what's happening, Yusuf? Give me an update, please. Yusuf. They're searching now, uh, so we are, are seconds away from the game. And obviously, this being an all-Hong Kong clash, we talked about the lag. It will help this game, and it should be faster and free-flowing because they're both teams coming from Hong Kong. Yep, definitely. Uh, as mentioned earlier, um, they should be able to play their, their free-flowing football if that's what they want to play. There shouldn't be any lag issues, so we should see a game of really high quality and intensity. Hopefully. Yeah. And don't forget, we've got two games to come after the Hong Kong derby. We switched to <coughs> Thailand against Vietnam. We saw some great Thai-Vietnamese clashes in all of our competitions so far on this rotation. Akeno Esports up against the Royal Cavaliers. Royal Cavaliers were impressed, didn't they, on that opening match? Remember, he paid banana or hype banana? But they only got to the round of 16 in the end. So the Royal Cavaliers on a recovery mission. They've got so many Vietnamese internationals in their team. You'll be seeing them all in action later. Man, Houghton, I'm a newbie here. Rose Blink, you remember the old Rose Blink? Yes, I do. Actually, a lot of those players uh, ring a bell, but um, 
Which means they ring a bell. They ring a bell, yeah, definitely. I would have expected you to be spending the whole day analysing video of their recent performances. Yes, that's what, exactly what I'd be doing. Uh, Bin YH10, um, Fu Trang, Mr. Hype Banana, Tungsten, Now you're Tungsten, just reading names off a list. Mantuan. These guys are all, you know, guys that have been etched into my memory. I can't forget these names. They're class players. Now, they're searching. What are they searching for exactly? Are they... Are they are now they're doing some substitutions and changes. What are they doing? Searching for love. I think, why don't we take this opportunity now? Y you seem troubled. I think let's just fill the, let's just, let's just fill the time. No, let's, let's do the chat. 12 o'clock game. Let's, no, let's have a chat. Let's have a chat. Come on, listen. We, we're a community here. We've got a lot of friends. Sure, let's do a here. chat. Yeah, you seem chat. troubled. Have you got a lot on your plate at the moment? No, I don't. I think... Uh, well, uh, he, he, you're, really being, you're being modest, Nitty, because there are, let me use this opportunity to tell you about some very exciting developments. I actually can't mention the names of the leagues because they're subject to contracts being signed, but we know most FIFA Pro Clubbers are fans of football as well, and there are two very interesting leagues that we are hoping to be bringing you live. I've said two, I, it's actually three, and with the return of the Singapore Premier League, could be four, and that will make One Play Sports the home. Don't look like that. It's a good thing. It Why is are you a good going thing. like that? So it's home, a lot of work. It's a lot the of work. home of not just live football, but tell Sorry, me, yeah. but tell me what is making our coverage of football unique when hopefully these contracts are signed and real football comes with a vengeance to one play sports this weekend. What extra thing are we bringing to the party? So fingers crossed, if all goes well, uh, we'll be doing all these matches in multiple languages. Wow. We'll be doing them in Hindi, Bahasa Indonesia, English. And uh, I, d I don't know what other languages we could be doing, but, but these are the three that we have in mind. So if you're someone who doesn't speak English and, all, and if you understand any of those other three languages I just mentioned, if you're, in, if they don't you're in for a treat. If they don't speak English, how are they going to know that you just said that? Because uh, Facebook does captioning uh -huh. and hopefully they do Good captioning but in different languages. But, but on a serious note, particularly with our dear friends in Indonesia, if you prefer to watch your live football, I'm talking real football now, and obviously I'm Andrew Rashid and does a great job with the Bahasa commentary for Malaysians on the pro club circuit. But if you like watching your live football, I can't give you the names of the leagues, but keep checking back on the One Play Sports Facebook page and the One Play Esports page. And starting this weekend, there could be some fantastic uh, live real football, which is a good thing because football started to come back all over the region. There was that great news this morning that Singapore Premier League clubs are back in full training from tomorrow. If any of you boys are watching, I hope uh, you're in bed. Joel Chu's a big uh, the FIFA fan, isn't he? If, you, if you're watching, Joel, good luck to you and the Stags back to training. So everyone's looking forward to getting oh. the Singapore Premier League back. Um, right, finally, a little later than advertised, I'm afraid, we can go live to the Ching D Stadium. A Trung Dang is another player that's been tra tra transferred. He's now with QFC until FIFA 21 comes out. A lot of people holding their ground. And one final All shout the best, out bro. to Atai Lee, who says, go Chingdi. So here we are then. It's a, it's a Kino. No, it's not. It's Chingdi <laughs> on the left and uh, FC Revival on the right. FC Revival in the blue, Chingdi on the right. And uh, straight away, Chingdi on the offense here, trying to get to the byline and cross that in, but there's too much on it. Uh, any indications, Nitin? Over two and a half or under two and a half here? Um... Over two and a half. Keep an eye out for pig brain. Also, guys, if you guys have any predictions, do let us know in the comment section. We love to read them out. Uh, Patrick didn't ask me for my prediction. What is it? Quickly. It's not been a goal yet. You can still get away with it. I'm going... Uh, hey, actually, you did. I did say uh, Ching, Ching Di to win 2-1 the first game and a draw in the second game. Okay, so you've just elaborated that. Ching Di certainly enjoying the better of possession early on, as you'd expect from the defending Hong Kong League champions, uh, driving it through the middle. Oh, that's good defensive work, but they can't get the ball clear at the moment. And now he's onside, is he? No flags off, up. Off. Whistle goes and it will be left to first day in goal for the revival to clear. I say first day, I think there may have been multiple changes in this one. And yeah, there seems to be have been some multiple team changes here that we weren't made aware of by FC Revival. Oh, no, it's a bit of a shambolic start, must be said, to the VPG Asian Super League where we're concerned. But we'll do our best anyway. As coming down the right-hand side now, Ching Di. And that's going to be... A free kick and indications aren't it. And this is an under two and a half game by the look of it, isn't it? Both these matches, I fancy, are going to be tight between these two. It's going to be tight for sure. We're, we're seeing first against second in the uh, VPG Hong Kong leagues. But uh, you never know. If someone gets an early goal, that could change the tactics and uh, we could be in for a goal fest. And straight away, Ching Di on the offence in the penalty area. Good work from Carr, though, at the back. And he's managed to get it clear, but only out for a throw. And it's all Ching Di possession-wise early. Yeah, but FC Revival are struggling to get the ball out of their box. They might have some space to work with here, though. Down the right-hand side they go. And through the middle. 
over the top and just can't quite get there. But at least they've made Chingdi's keeper, Red Forest, have a touch. And now maybe they can get some offense going. But at the moment, it's not the most compelling. They're play the way this game's being played, they don't, they're don't. they not suffering from lag, are they? It doesn't appear to be being played that smoothly here. No, it's looking good. It's looking nice and smooth. The players are turning. The, the players are playing first-time passes. So I think it's looking okay. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Maybe it's an optical illusion. Just the pace of this game doesn't seem to be at the usual high standard. As finally, FC Revival come forward. But again, nothing really happening in the offensive third for either of these two teams early. As Chingdi will bring this away down the right-hand side. Now, Billy Hayun. Out it goes, oh. whacked away, and it, it's not a high-quality game at the minute, and I know they're probably still trying to fit each other out. Yeah. Is this what you happen when you get two teams that are obviously very familiar with each other's strengths and weaknesses? Now, it's been a bit of a, uh, of a lackluster start, I have to say. Both teams have been a bit non-committal in terms of uh, their attacking play. So, um, not the most exciting of starts, but... Uh, Probably both teams are using the first half to feel each other out. Shout out to, to Jackie Lamb, who's also enjoying this Hong Kong derby. Watching with us on the OnePlay Esports Facebook page. Don't forget to give it a like, share, follow, comment, and leave your comments in the comments section for a shout out. As finally, FC Revival get it away. But these are two teams. They're playing like two teams that are very, very familiar with each other. As Sam uh, takes the throw on this near side for FC Revival. So now, oh, delighted we've got a bit of atmosphere now. I thought we were, yeah, I thought we were the playing this game back. behind COVID closed doors. <laughs> nice to get a bit of atmos going. Not that the virtual fans have got much to cheer about. And neither of these two teams at the moment are setting the world alight. But again, maybe they're just going to take some time to find their feet. Or maybe the two Hong Kong sides have decided to draw to give themselves a bit of advantage. Now, now, now you're talking. I, do ah, love, a I love a conspiracy theory. Exactly. You never know. You never know. But surely, as the keeper comes out, Red Forest doesn't get too near there. Surely the rivalry between clubs from the same country must be quite fierce. We certainly saw that in some of our pro club challenge matches. Uh, yeah, but that was a knockout competition, right? So here we go as FC Revival was news coming that uh, FC Apricot's two games have both finished nil-nil. So we are still waiting for the first goal oh, I hope tonight's that action. That doesn't, hopefully that's not an omen that yeah. we're going to see a goalless night. That will be horrendous. But I don't think so. Both these sides have uh, started to quicken their passing and uh, they're looking a bit more threatening. Well, Ooh. only marginally knitting is not the best, is it? We're 33 minutes in, and I don't think we've seen, well, certainly not an effective shot on goal to for foresee the keeper into making a top save. I like the idea of your conspiracy theory at the moment. Mm. That seems to be ringing true. As now, but even if it, it was a conspiracy theory thing... This is better. Sorry, Ooh. Nitin. Ching okay. with a chance. they got man space Come on that left-hand side. Can they pull the trigger and get the shot away? Had to hit that first time and didn't. And... Miss Tin Hay had oh, a real play. opportunity there. Oh, and he's penalty. gone down. It's going to be a penalty, surely. Yep. It well, it was the only way we were going to get a goal at this first half. And Pig Brain is still to convert. If it is Pig Brain taking it straight down the middle. And that was Super surreal. Mid. The keeper didn't even dive. And Ching Di with Pig Brain giving them a 37th minute lead that they scarcely deserve. And how on earth, bearing in mind what we've seen so far, Nitin, our FC Revival are going to come back from one down here. Yeah, but I was just saying, talking about non-committal attacking, but uh, right there we saw Miss Tin Hay, the left back, bombing forward. He caused problems, found the attacker in the box. He got fouled. A deserved penalty and a deserved lead for Ching Di, who have uh, dominated possession so far. Super make with the goal, a nice calm finish, and it's 1-0 to the hosts. Now through the middle and to the next line. Now he Whoa. goes down. Is there another penalty straight no, off no, the no. bat? No, referee doesn't give him. Nah, but I thought nah, for nah, a minute nah, nah. we were going to see penalties at either end within three virtual minutes of each other it wasn't to be but a, a slight scare for Ching Di who I don't think the intention was to play that goal kick short and that's a very strange piece of defending from the men in white so pick brains 37th minute penalty the difference between the two teams at the moment in a game that's lack quality pick brains is super meek uh, super meek and pick yes. I think I prefer pick brain I prefer pick fight knife Pig fight knife, those oh, were the pig days. Knife fight. What was it? It was pig fight knife, I think. Now, can they get a second before half time? That would really kill off FC Revival, Ooh, surely. Play, 
both teams unable to find any concise passing in the final third. That's been the story of what you have to say has been a very, very lacklustre first half. Yeah, loving the runs down the channels that uh, Chingdi are making. They're causing lots of uh, problems for the uh, FC rival defenders, but it's just one nil at the moment. So, a free kick needlessly given away from Chingdi, and then there's a revival to get it coast to coast in about 90 virtual seconds. They're going to go into the sheds at the break, needing to come from behind. Of course, they do have the home leg to follow immediately after this. A reminder, if you're a fan of Thailand or Vietnamese esports, Econo Esports and Royal Cavaliers of Thailand and Vietnam, respectively, will follow after the two matches here. And we're already <coughs> one half through the first one. And Super Mick, Pig Brains, first half penalty in the 37th minute is what separates the sides at the break. Uh, let's be honest, it's not been a good game. It's completely uninspired me. The fans making polite applause, but it's only polite applause. Neither of these two teams have shown they've got enough in the locker here to threaten the big boys in this competition so far. Yeah, a bit of a shaky start from both teams. I have to say, not many attacking chances we'll see from the stats. I don't think, besides the penalty, I don't think there was a shot on target. Yeah, there were. And I'm right. Well, there were two uh, shots there, bizarrely, but I didn't yeah, see just, them either. Just one shot on target the whole half, which was probably the penalty. Yeah, but there were so. The stats which you always critical of said there was two shots for FC Reviver there. I don't remember those. Yeah, telling you, uh, FIFA needs to work on their stats. But again, not the uh, most exciting of halves. Uh, we've seen Chingdi be decent in possession. They are making nice runs down the channels, causing problems for FC Revival's back four. But other than that, uh, nothing much to report. It's been a it's been uh, not not the most inspiring performances from both teams, but uh, Chingdi have found a way. They've they've uh, won a penalty and they have the lead. So we'll get back to the Chingdi ground now for the second half of this matchup. Is that are they using the the virtual Tottenham Stadium there? Look, that, oh, that stadium. Is it? No, no, no. Sure the Spurs stadium doesn't have a track, so okay, well, that's look, that, unlikely. That stadium is quite interesting. If anyone out there knows, drop us a. A, a, a message in the comment section. We've got Atat Lee saying he thinks that Chingdi are going to go on and win this 3-0 now. Well, they've got the goal nice the pressure's prediction. off. But uh, for the first 37 minutes, I couldn't believe for all the tea in China that we get more than two and a half goals in this game. But we have got one. And the question now is whether Chingdi are just going to shut up shop because it was a very mixed bag last night in the first batch of group matches with a couple of them being ridiculously high scoring and some of the others petering out to nil-nil draws. And we've seen the apricot boys already pick up two nil-nil draws today as Chingdi come again with Pig Brain, Super Mick waits for it. Oh, good play. Good bit of defending and FC Revival managed to get it clear, but they are just, they are probably just on balance worthy of a lead, not by much though, Chingdi, is it? Yep, agreed. They have, uh, they have shown more attacking intent. They have committed more players forward. As I mentioned earlier, Miss Tin the left back was bombing forward uh, in, in the build up to that first goal. So, for me, if, if, if you're more committed to the attack, uh, you deserve the lead. So, it's a, it's a fair result at this point. So, FC Revival are going to have to try and build out here, but they just lost the midfield oh, battle. Oh, poor ball. They've looked stronger, Ching Di. They did somehow come up with the ball here, though. That's the first bit of good midfield play they've shown throughout the whole game. But can they get the shot away to level it up? It's deflected and wide. They'll get a corner. They'll have to try and make the set-piece pay. First corner of the match, I think this is Nitin. So can they make something from it? It was a good piece of build-up as well. The, the, the shot looked like it was going on target. Headed away unconvincingly and headed back into the danger area eventually. Uh, Connor Cossack says, uh, do you do an English lead? If so, how to take part? Connor, get onto the VPG Facebook page if you want to be part of some of VPG's great leagues. They have European leagues as well. And if you need any help, ask Aaron or you can... Why don't you join the VPG Asia group chat and ask... Our dear friend Yusuf, he's incredibly helpful. Lovely boy. So lovely boy, lovely, sh lovely a, shirts as well. He's a very lovely boy. He's not. He only brings the, the glittery T-shirts out when he knows he's going to be in vision. He's wearing a scruffy T-shirt today. <laughs> he turns up in slippers and pajamas when he knows he's not going to be in front of camera. Now this is the chance for oh, Chingdi to put on. this game to bed as they search for their first three points of this 2020 VPG Asian Super League. 60 minutes in and uh, Chingdi look like they have a bit more threat going forward in this half so hopefully they can equalise. We'll see. Chingdi looking for the second goal that will put this game to bed. This pig brain again. The pig brain gets it into the area and they were dangerously close to being on the verge of giving another pen away there and they might be in trouble again but that's lovely defensive work by Ants and the left back. 
fair play. That's the best bit of full-back defence we've seen so far, but the clock's already ticked round to 63 minutes. FC Revival have just got to create more. They've had that one burst in that second half opportunity, and that's been it. Yeah, even that was uh, a, a loose pass from um, Ching Di, so... Uh, Goal Alpha says in the chat room that uh, the uh, game audio is a little bit low. Can we turn up the Atmos or our voices? Probably the Atmos. I can't believe my voice is too quiet. But that's uh, good feedback. Guys, if you mention it or spot anything like that when you're watching, do tell us. We'll give you a shout-out as well. Thanks for that, Cole Alpha. Appreciate it. So, there you have Cole. Yes, we listen to our fans. There's Cole Alpha with his louder cloud noise. Hope you're happy with that goal. And now, Ching Di with Billy. Ma Yun, the player that we haven't seen much from it, and he was touted by yourself as a, and myself, in fairness, as a player to watch, but he hasn't really had much ball to get involved with here today. Two months of scouting work I did on this guy. Wasted. He's just, he's not performing today. He's letting you down. Um, I'm not sure where the goal's coming from from FC Revival. They've got 20 virtual minutes to create a chance. That equates to around about two and a half minutes of real time. They've just not done enough. I mean, nil-nil may have been a fair result, but you have to probably just give Ching Di the edge and if they get a second goal then it really is all over here is Billy Hayun and once more knitting scouting work down the toilet come on Billy yeah the FC Revival not convincing I'm going to be very interested to see how the second leg plays out here very interested indeed it'll be very interesting to see these teams play one of the uh, Malaysian Thai or Vietnamese powerhouses uh, to actually kind of figure out their their level. We've hardly seen anything from Kelvin with his 21 goals from 25 games tonight. I've just been told by tournament director you that they will be making numerous changes. FC Revival in the second leg. It's down the left-hand side. Good play there from Keith. Comes Sam Pro Club, but just unable to get it going. And the seconds are ticking away. Does the keeper go long here and buy a ticket to the raffle and hope he gets a, a flick on from one of his strikers? There's not much movement waiting for him. That's it, Hope, and he's got nowhere. Hey! I don't know what the keeper's doing there. What is happening there? That was a bit peculiar. Was that just a tactic to try and run the clock down, or was it just very confusing? No, I think it was, uh, it was a bit of confusion there. They looked like they were panicking a little. Well, this is very poor. I mean, I've probably been spoiled by the Pro Clubs Challenge and the Sea Nations Cup and some of those tournaments. The standard here, I'm afraid, is not up to snuff. Bear with us, though. It will get better, and I can promise you an absolute belter when it gone to eSports of Thailand taking the Royal Cavaliers of Vietnam, which will be with you around about 12 p.m. Singapore time. That's GMT plus eight. He's not looked convincing at all as he read Forrest in this second half. He's playing a very strange game in goal for Ching Di. But he's still got the clean sheet, so I guess no complaints from his manager or his teammates. Yeah, if you were his manager, then you'd still be asking him what happened in that little walkabout he had a couple of moments before. Yeah, I'm the worst. Uh, I've, I've made players not want to talk to me for a couple of days after FIFA, so... No, they do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> here comes Ching Di through the middle with Alvin Tung, who got a touch. I haven't mentioned Alvin, but he's on the ball looking sharp now. Alvin Tung to the right. They've got three white shirts in the middle. Can ball. they find one of them? No, it's headed away. I'm not convinced that there's not these two teams aren't suffering some some kind of internet issue here. It's, it's been a very strange game to watch. No, it's fine. They, no one's dropped out. Are they just out. rubbish then? Nah, that's harsh to say. Come on. I'm not going to say that ever. Oh, there's a chance. Here's Billy. Oh! oh! Good save. Action. Great save from first day. Best save of the match so far. It was the first day. First day, first great save as well. Now, a corner. I don't think that Ching Di have had a corner up to this point. The keeper, first day, continues the good work by coming to claim it in the second phase. But they're probably going to have one and only one more chance to hoop this up the field and get the equaliser. They do get a good ball from the keeper. Now, over to that left-hand side. But Ching Di's defence, strangely, there's something not right with this game here today. I don't know whether it's just me. I've obviously not been... Conspiracy in, theory. Well, I've not been in the... One pro team wins one game. No, if, but, if, okay. So if, you are now with me on the conspiracy theory. Maybe if FC Revival win the next one, then I might be like, oh, I was right. The quality here is not being Maybe, good. maybe. Alvin Tung, they're coming away now. Surely they're just going to try and play against the clock to run the time added on, which is only going to be three virtual minutes. Will this be corner flag time? It looks like it. Yeah, he's just going to keep hold of this ball, isn't he? One, two. And eventually... FC Revival come up with it, but this has been desperate stuff, I'm afraid, folks. We've had a goal. It came from the penalty spot in the 37th minute from Pig Brain. And my brain's turning to pig watching this. It's appalling stuff. The yellow card. 
Very harsh. It's harsh, but fair. This is the stuff you should be doing. You're too nice to everyone. I keep telling you. No, I, I, as it is. I understand what's happening. I guess. But you, because you think it's but all it's, cricket. But it, it should be. It should be a lot better. It should are be a lot get, more attacking. Are we having some sort of match fixing here? And at least that would give us some controversy oh. to talk about. Oh. have time to finish this. Billy, attack. come We're on, Billy. Four minutes. Can Billy make it two on full time? Billy. Billy. Great save from first day. And will they be allowed to take the corner? Yes, as usual, they will be. We've already played. Nearly two minutes more of the allotted three added on for stoppages. I already feel like poking my eyes out with needles having to sit through this for the 90 virtual minutes. Put me out of my misery, referee, please. Thank goodness for that. Virtual referee blows the full-time whistle. It's three points for Ching Di and back to the drawing board for FC Revival. I wonder if the second matchup between those two teams tonight will improve things. The match highlights go to those. They'll be about 15 seconds long. The player ratings there. They should all be on zero. <laughs> And they are all on zero, quite right too. Uh, 56 percent is Ching Di. Uh, can we go to the match highlights, please? Whoever's controlling these, it's a nightmare. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that, get that. Get, get to the highlights. There won't be too many of them. Come on. Patrick's very impatient today, no, guys. I'm not, not having it. I'm not having hey! it. I'm not having it. What kind of thing is happening here? Yusuf, I want reprimands and fines for all those players. One, for not giving us a good game, and two, for completely kiboshing our opportunity. Actually, having said that, they did us a favour by not making us sit through the highlights. That's true. I think that, to be fair, in their defence, maybe they were embarrassed as well. If you're a team member here uh, for Chingdi or FC Revival, can you just confirm on the Facebook comment section on the OnePlay Esports page whether you did have any issues? Uh, now, I've just been given the updated lineup for FC Revival in the second game. Oh. It's in. Uh, Superlight is back for the second game. I wonder if that's probably going to help them at the back. Um, other than that, um, they've got we've we've got we've got Pig Brain playing for Ching Di. We've got the Big Pig coming in at right back for FC Revival in this one. In fact, they're making many changes. I just wonder whether they've uh, saved some of the big guns here for the second game knitting. In What's fact, up? well, let me. I'll run you through the changes now in case people are at, at uh, CDM is now going to be Jade and you. I think they've changed with the formation a little bit as well. We won't worry about that. Jade and you. Uh, Sam Pro Club. He plays up front with Kelvin. Uh, they've got Big Pig comes in for Pro Club. It is so Big Pig's in for for Sam Pro Club. Uh, so Big Pig there. MRA is staying there. Answer stays there. So yeah, not too many changes. They're going to be putting all their faith here in the Big Pig. Do you put your faith in Big Pig? That's the question I want to ask you. No, I w I would never put my faith in a Big Pig. And uh, there have been a lot of pig names. Is there a particular reason if you're playing for Revival or Ching Di? Could you let us know the fascination of... Uh, but it's Hong Kong, isn't it? Pigs are big in Hong Kong. Are they? Yeah. Why? They all like pig in Hong Kong. Okay. You with the pig, all that kind of thing? Yeah, I like chicken, but my PSN name is yeah, if chicken you're, If you were born in the year of the pig, if you were Chinese, right? Travis, uh, we have got one. Uh, is Lim Yi still here? Uh, Lim Yi and Travis, what years were you born in? I'm a rabbit myself. I'm a rabbit too. We're 12 years apart, huh? Travis, <laughs> don't depress me. Oh, my God. Travis, what year were you born in? You, Travis is a rat. Now, there's fair a Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, Lim Yi? Go Lim Yi's a fair goat. Enough. Now, that's, a yeah. bit, that's very accurate. Fair enough. Uh, what what do you so you're, you're a rabbit? Do you share any characteristics with rabbits? Yes. Yes, I. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what do you like carrots? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's definitely it. Is Mrs. Knitting watching tonight? I hope not. It's a, it's quite late, Eddie. I hope she's asleep. You know, mm. she's got work tomorrow. Uh, so on, uh, how are we looking, Yusuf? How long to this second matchup? Reconnecting now, so we should be back in action very shortly. Comments? Uh, not too many, I'm afraid. M I must say, th many Guys. thanks to Connor Kuzak. Uh, uh, I'm just going to check, Connor, for you, because it's great to have you watching all the way there from the UK. Um, let me ask you, Yusuf, if Connor wants to get involved in the VPG League in England, what does he have to do? So go to the main virtual programming Facebook page, Connor, leave a message. And Aaron DeLosso, who does a great job running the whole organisation, he's certain to be in touch as my uh, colleague here on the right illustrates the universal sign language for typing. Ticket, 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 ticket. That's the ticky, sound ticky, of a ticky, 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 ticky. typewriter. Tuck, tuck, tuck. When was the tuck, last tuck, time you tuck. saw a typewriter? Uh, my grandfather's house, probably I like 15 years ago. I watched Saving Private Run last night and I saw one. So I, I saw it. I thought, that's when was the last time I saw a typewriter? What are things you don't see anymore? Typewriters? Um, nice people. <laughs> it's hard, man. <laughs> okay, okay. What do you mean? What, what do I not see anymore? Yeah, days, days off. off. Uh, nice people. Um, 
I, I'll stop there. You're, you're not very good at this ad libbing. No, like no, I no. Am. I am good. It's Ask just me that a question. I, it, Put the me on the spot. Coming. While we while we entertain the troops, while we wait for the second game between Chingdi and FC Revival, you can ask me a question. Ask me anything. Go on. I'll leave it to the audience, guys. If you have any questions for Mr. Patrick King on, uh, Mickey do let Yo, us know. Mickey Yo says, let's go, Chingdi. Are you just tired, buddy? Do you need a hug? No, nah, I'm okay. It's I'm great. Okay. We can embrace now that the worst of COVID's over. We can sort of. No, we still that. can't. No, can we not? Oh. Where's, the, where's the sanitizer? It's over there. We'll have to get the sanitizer in. Yeah, we'll do it uh, a bit. So the chaps are just reconnecting. Uh, a reminder FCA Procots games ended nil nil. Thank God we weren't doing those two. They were even worse for the sound of it than Chingdi and FC Revival. Uh, if you are just joining us, Chingdi have just won their home game against FC Revival by a goal to nil in One their zero. group stage in Group F. Oh, yeah. Uh, Shout out to Chadwick Boseman. Rest in peace, sir. Wakanda forever. I just remembered. Okay. Who's Chadwick Boseman? Black Panther, he passed away. Colon cancer. The Black Panther, but yeah. The actor. Oh, the, the guy that played the Black Panther. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Boseman. very sad. Yeah. Are they going to recast the role? I, I could see you as the I Black Panther, so. actually. Why, hey. I could see you as the Black Panther. I'm the Brown Panther. You're the Brown Panther. Oh. I'm the Pink Panther. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, y Yusuf, do me a favour. Get these games turned around quickly. This is turning into a real... Come nightmare. on, Yusuf! What time is it now? Quarter to midnight. Yusuf, what's happened to you, buddy? You were the best tournament director I'd ever seen. I leave you alone for two months. This is what I come back to. It's absolute shambles. Uh, I'm going to be writing to Mr. Aaron Delosser at uh, VPG Game. I'm not standing for this, Nick. I don't know Same. about you. I'm, I'm about to flip my table if this match doesn't get going in the next five seconds. Uh, Vamos Chingdi says uh, Ison LP. Guys, if you've got any questions for us or any shout outs yeah. you want to give, any birthdays, um, obviously, very sad news about the Black Panther. That's uh, very sad. It is. Uh, I, I actually read about that in all seriousness. What a good guy he was because he, he battled it in private. You see, some of these celebrities try and milk it. He battled it in private. And there were some very touching pictures of him visiting kids in private at hospitals that were obviously only released after his death. So he sounds like a stand up guy and a big loss to the, the Marvel. It's Marvel, right? Yeah, Marvel and Marvel uh, I think it's it's a big loss in terms of um, what the Black Panther was. The Black Panther was kind of the first movie where it was, you know, um, an entire cast of African Americans or African people, and the movie did so well at the box office. Right I think it's see. it's the greatest, uh, if I could say, a black movie ever created. Yeah. So um, it's made the most money. So lo huge impact, a uh, huge loss, what? and uh, rest in peace. Could have an we should have an Indian superhero. Maybe, we? I would love that. Right, let's go back to the action. FC Revival at the Revival Stadium. They are playing in the blue from left to right, Chingdi in the white from right to left, and Forest is back in the thick of it. Red Forest in the goal for Chingdi. FC Revival, they will need to win this. If they do, they'll be level on points with Chingdi after match day one. But it's Chingdi as they did in the first game. And look at this. But this is a different kind of oh. place we're seeing here. Well, I, I, this, I like this. This, it, this is a much better game. This I like is a different part. kettle of fish and it's being played quicker. They must have been having problems. I'm very disappointed you didn't spot that in the first game. There were clearly issues in that game, didn't it? Clearly issues. Compare that to this. It's much better. They're playing quicker. They're playing sharper. It seems better already. They're both from Hong Kong. There shouldn't be any lag. Unless EA is uh, playing a trick on us again, as usual. Wouldn't put that past them. Those rascals at EA Sports. Yeah, by the way, let us know in the comment section what you think of the EA servers. I'll forward all your comments on to the uh, chief executive of EA Sports. They've even banned FIFA Pro Club from being shown on television, apparently. Disgraceful. Uh, right, Ching Di, they're looking good here. They're starting very good. This is a much faster pace, Nitin. How did you not spot there was lag in that first game? What am I paying you the big bucks for, bro? I don't think there was lag again. It's, much qu it's being played much quicker, this game. Yeah, the players probably woke up or they've been hearing us and hearing you complain about wanting to stick needles in your eyes and stuff. Quite right. Well, I'm not wanting to stick needles in my eyes now. I'm actually quite enjoying this. This is a much brighter start. Being played at a quicker pace. FC Revival, though. They did have one half chance in that first game. Remember, it took a penalty scored by Pig Brain to get the three points. And here comes SC Revival now. Let's see what they've got at their home turf when it comes to coming forward. And the answer is, at this stage, not very much. Look at that skill there. That's a beautiful passage of play. Lovely work. They find the Pig Brain in the middle. Get it to Billy Half on. Billy Half on into the area. A good defensive work from SC Revival. Cap just belts it out. And that will be a throw right by the corner flag, Nitin. Yeah, great defending from Car 217. They knew exactly what Billy wanted to do. Wasn't going to let him get the shot away. And uh, overall, fantastic defending. Oh, edge of the area. Pachingdi now. It's good work from Alvin Tung. Oh, oh, this is lovely. This is more like it. Great opportunity for the now angle, but he skies it over. And Chingdi have created more through the 13 virtual minutes here than they did through the 90. 
in the first game. Yep, two big chances for Billy early on in this, in this game. 13 minutes in, he's uh, found himself with two good opportunities. So hopefully this is the game where he shines. It's a hopeful cross in the middle of the keeper comes. There's a mix-up and they'll get a corner for free here. The FC Revival boys, they had one in the first game, made nothing of it. But can FC Revival take the lead here a quarter of an hour in, in virtual land? There's still four minutes to play in this first half of the second game between these two teams tonight. That's good goalkeeping. Red Forest did really well then. Yeah, he knew exactly uh, what he was doing there. He waited patiently for the corner to be taken. Uh, saw that he was going, heading to the far post and uh, made a really good clip. Far side is Fushlis Nelly. Fushlis Nelly. Go on the Nelster. Nelly, that's a nice ball as well. To the miss, to Alvin Tung. They're looking good here, Chingdi. But can they get the shot away and goal and take the lead in this first half? Oh, lovely reverse pass. In they come again. Just can't get the shot away. Maybe it's a question of one too many passes from these guys at the moment, Nitin. Yeah, but I'm loving the build up. It's, uh, it's really good. The, the, the timing of the pass and the timing of the runs have been spot on. And it's a joy to watch. But well, this is more like it. We want controversy and we've got some. Thanks to Kenneth Ooh. Lee, who says that Ching Di is the most hated, team in, <laughs> hated <laughs> team in Hong Kong. Kenneth, tell us why they're the most hated team in Hong Kong. I want to know. Here's Nelly again. Nelly the elephant packed the trunk and went <laughs> away to the circus. Alvin Tung down the left-hand side. Here's the mister. That's the left back, by the way. He's bombing forward and I love to see that. Miss I love T N Hay. Miss T N Hay. Do you like to see a bong bombing forward fullback? I love it. Uh, Robertson, Trent Alexander Arnold, Spurs new signing McNulty. You know, these guys excite me, man. You don't like it when the fullbacks go deep, do you? Uh, oh, what's that a, all about? Got is a, that a rip? Got to be a yellow, surely. No it's card. Not. What oh. game is this referee watching? Well, there's something very strange going on at Pro Club tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I've literally seen it all now. I've literally seen it all now, Nitin. Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> now. Here comes down the left, Chingdi again. They're looking brighter. Here's Alvin Tung. He's oh, getting good busy. Defending. Love that. But Nitin very impressed by the super flag. Ah. I love that. I love when uh, defenders kind of anticipate where the pass is going. Offside. I think he's coming back from an offside position there. He did very well. Halfway to the first half and still goalless here in the second game is FC Revival. Chase their first point or points of this competition. They've played one and lost one so far. And the team they lost that one to are their opponents here, Chingdi. Frank Lucas in the house! Hey! Now, I have to tell you, Frank Lucas is a valued colleague of ours. I'll tell you all about Frank Lucas in a minute. Meanwhile, FC Revival! Oh. What a chance, but Red Forest saves. Business pick it up here, baby. And Frank Lucas is very good of him to take time out for his busy schedule because he's actually one of the executives here at One Play Sports and he's currently on a very secret high power business trip to Malaysia. Yep. So he's in Hong Kong. Uh, Hong Kong. He's in Kuala Lumpur. I hope you're staying safe, Frank. <laughs> Oh! Through they come again. Oh, what a giveaway! What a oh, gift! Wow. Oh, Billy, half fun! He averages one and a half goals per game. Well, he's averaged a goal and a half in this one. And suicide and defending from FC Revival has put Chingdi forever. in pole position to top Group 6, Group F at the end of match night two and a half. Yeah, we mentioned at the start of the broadcast that Billy Mayun is a player to watch and uh, that's exactly why. He's got three good chances in this first half. He's finally put one away. Oh, straight away, FC Revival with a chance to equalise. Oh. And he's absolutely fluffed his lines there. And if you wanted it to fall to one man, it would be Kelvin, Mum. And Kelvin with his 21 goals from 25 games couldn't make it count. And will they get a better opportunity than that, Nitin? Um, I don't think so. Red Forest, I have to say, he did... Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Okay. Yeah, back to Red Forest. He did brilliantly there. He... Uh, Made the first save, he followed it up by positioning himself right in the centre of the goal for the rebound header. And uh, he made it look easy, but super positioning play from the goalkeeper. Apparently, Billy Mao Yao is a badass, says Goal Alpha. Is that what, is that what your goal are you saying? That that's why they don't like him, because Billy Ma Yao is a, a badass. Is that what you're saying? Let us know. Billy Ma Yao. Billy Ma Yao. Billy Ma Yao, they say. Yeah. Oh, another chance for FC Revival. Well, all of a sudden, Chingdi are looking vulnerable, but this is where they nearly caught them out at the end of the game in the first match. On the swift counter, there's the Billy man. Well dealt with by Superfly. They do look, notwithstanding that horrendous mistake to concede the goal, Superfly looks yeah. like he's a better addition, no? Or not? You're not liking Superfly? Uh, no, he's, he's played well, but again, that goal was such a cheap giveaway, and uh, the uh, 
FC Revival manager and players will be having difficulty sleeping after considering like that. Obviously, it's, it's, it's a very poor way to party. So, MRI gets it out to this left-hand side. It's been a good response, in fairness, from FC Revival this week because they were desperate in the first game. I think they must have been suffering with some kind of lag issues. They still have got it all to do here, but at least they're showing more promise coming forward. Meanwhile, it's the Ching Di boys that come searching for the second goal as we go into time and on at the end of the first half. There's three minutes of it to be played, and Ching Di trying to turn the screw. Switching it inside to Alvin Tung, who's been a superstar in both games. Out to the right goes Alvin Tung. They find now the ball with Jurgan. Jurgan is dealt with by answer reasonably well at left back answer. He wasn't at fault for the goal. As the flag's up there, he's offside. He can't be offside. What was the most advantage? I think it was advantage yeah. being played. They need to clear this, and they give away a call in the left time to take it, and that does good bring half, up the half-time. Half. Well, that was a bit more high energy, high octane. That's the FIFA Pro Club that we come to know and love on VPG and One Play Sports Cross Promotions. It's great to see, and Goal Alpha confirms that the reason why everyone hates Ching Di is because of Billy. Ma Yao. So, Billy, mate, if you're watching, why do they all not like you, Billy? I think you're a lovely bloke. Never met you, but I think you're a lovely bloke. Uh, right, talk us through that half. Uh, and it was much better stuff, wasn't it? But the goal was uh, uh, some shocking defending. Yeah, but intensity-wise, I have to say this game's a lot more uh, intense. We're seeing um, a much stronger battle in midfield. It's, uh, it's lovely to see, and uh, it's made for a more entertaining game. Do they need to change the formation at uh, revival Can you change your formation at half-time? You can. You can change your formation, uh, but... Again, I, I don't see how that will help. Um, FC Revival, uh, they really need to get their act together in the second half. Um, defensively, they were strong, except for that one moment where they considered that sometimes that's, that, that, that's all it takes for you to consider in FIFA. Second half, Ching Di going from left to right. FC Revival going from right to left. And FC Revival, they responded well to going a goal down, but Ching Di almost looked likely to maybe surprise them on the break. It's quite simply, if FC Revival want to get anything from this game, they have to score the next goal. They're not coming from 2-0 down to get anything the way this game has gone. And you can see now why the games between the two teams are so, so closely contested in the league. Ching Di unbeaten in the league, remember, against FC Revival this season. This is the second one to put the game beyond reasonable doubt. Thought for a minute he was going to go down there, the Nelly boy, to get a penalty. Cameraman's uh, taking some LSD there, I think, but we're back with it. Here's Nelly again. <laughs> Belted away by FC Revival. Even the cameraman needs improving on EA Sports. Nah, you know why that happens? Let me explain why that happens. It happens when the captain is probably yeah. a centre back. And he takes and the control. And he presses his sensor pad, the camera automatically tracks to him. So that's why that happens once in a while. But LSD could be it as well. So now down the left hand side comes Billy Mayao, who everyone hates, but he's loving the game at the moment. He's got the only goal of it so far. Here's Nelly oh, to Billy. Oh, Nelly like to that. Billy. Billy back to Nelly. Oh, belted clear by FC Revival. And Nelly the Elephant packed a trunk. He nearly got a second there. And she's coming again. Here's Nelly. Feels like Chindi are trying to pass their way into the net sometimes. Um, a bit like Arsenal at their best. Uh, don't agree with that. More like Barcelona. Question from Travis Tan. What does Patrick use to maintain such shine on his beautiful bull head? Really? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Kenneth Ling says he has extra legs. He's too good. I'm assuming he's talking... Who's Kenneth about talking you? about there? No, he's not talking about me. I've not got nice legs. Oh, mate, oh, who are you talking about, Kenneth? That extra legs. I want to know all about that. Th thanks for the message, uh, Double T. Travis Tan, our executive producer of OnePlay Esports Gaming. He's the man behind all the great content you're seeing on the OnePlay Esports page. Esports team doing a good job. Speaking of doing a good job. Hey. Jerk gun down the right. Oh, trying to find Billy again. Just can't get it clear, but there's a free kick that will help alleviate the pressure. But just like that, we're half an hour from the finish, and if anything, it looks like Ching Di are the more likely to get the second goal in this game. And if they do, you can put the three points in the wing column. The excellent Vic is uh, in the house tonight. He's very disappointed there's no Caribbean Premier League cricket tonight. He was telling me earlier he might uh, put the floodlights on at the back and make you want to have a couple of, couple of overs of cricket with him afterwards, just so he doesn't get withdrawal symptoms. Yeah, it depends on uh, how long the next two matches will take, but uh, I'm keen and game, no problem. Here's Nelly again. Inside to West. Isn't that convincing? His answer manages to get it clear, but straight into trouble as Kid drops it out for a throw in to be taken by the left back answer. Well won. Here's Jurgan. That's going to be a corner, first corner of the second half, and it goes to Ching Di. 
who are pushing. And I fancy if they get a second quickly here, that FC Revival's heads might drop. Hey, Chad. Keeper comes. Yeah, Paul. Just about got there. The danger is cleared. Out to the edge of the area. Oh, look at Benny. Look at Benny go. And it's a chance. Oh. Again, guys, you all need to be shooting from there. What do you press to shoot? The X button? It depends. You can go square or, or you square or circle. Your own controls. Yeah, what square. do you use? I use square. I'm being told the two teams from our later match are on standby, so we're going to be having a quick turnaround. So don't go anywhere, folks. We'll bring you a kind of esports against the Royal Cavaliers very shortly after this. We had an estimated kickoff time of that for midnight, so we will be going straight on to our games Perfect. between the Thai and Vietnamese teams. So. On the left-hand side, Sounds comes amazing. Ching D. <laughs> I've got to educate you on that. <laughs> you do it all the time. It's a nightmare. Private joke between me and the Notorious. <laughs> He's notorious for not knowing how to use his earpieces. <laughs> all right. Here comes FC Revival again. We're going to be going straight live to the Okono ground for Okono Esports against the Royal Cavaliers at the full-time whistle here. And I'm assuming that Chingdi hang on just to give you the updated standings as they will be at the end of this match in Group F. Chingdi and FC Revival. But FC Revival will be bottom of the shot with nil point. Chingdi will be top of the shot with six in what's looking to be a good start for the Let's one half of the Hong Kong contingent in Group 6. We're calling it Group F. Chingdi are now knitting just 13 virtual minutes away from a pair of one nilers. Yep, uh, the good news about this result is it'll put to bed my rumours of the uh, conspiracy theory. But what, it, what we're doing, in all seriousness, FC Revival are going to have to really graft now, aren't they, in their games oh. against... Oh, good touch. Apricot. Because don't forget, Apricot's two matches in this group finished nil-nil. So those two teams have got two points at the Apricot game. We've got Chingdi going to have six, and yeah. SC Revival with no points in the but first two games. They've got to make it happen in the final four. Yeah, but still everything to play for. Just getting one win will put them above those two teams. So um, everything to play for still for yeah, FC Revival. And uh, the good part is their goal defence isn't too bad. One nil losses in each game. Um, it's, it's easily recoverable in the next four. Well, all is not lost. As I say, you can't win or lose a group stage with the first two games. But if you want to qualify as top dogs, and top seeds by winning the group. You need to make a good start, and that's what Chingdi have done. What a tackle from Nelly the Elephant. Lovely work from Nelly, and that could be the ball game there, folks, because Nelly's driving this down the pitch. They're going to soak up a lot of time with this. Oh. Oh, don't forget to take the ball with you, love. But look at this. They're just going to pass them to death here in these final seven minutes, I think, Nitin. They employed this tactic to good effect in the first game, and Jer Gung knew exactly what he was doing there to knock that off the FC Revival man to get a throw. Yeah, but Chingdi have shown that they're very good in possession. Um, they like to pass a bit Ooh. too much, in my opinion, but definitely very good side in, uh, in ball retention. Jerk Hung trying to get it across. FC Revival have got no answers here. They're playing like a team who don't believe they can grab a late equaliser. As uh, the cameraman Ooh. goes walk about again, as Answer takes the throw. They've got to work it. It's the basics of football. You've got to work it out, guys, how to get it from one end of the pitch to the other. And that's what FC Revival just haven't figured out in this game enough. They've had one good chance they probably should have scored from in the first half of this game. But other than that, it's been pretty poor. Uh, I just want to bring up something to the tech team, guys. I think my shirt's a bit see-through. I can see the players through it. Do double-check on that. Thank you. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Can we cool, see your cool. nipples? That would excite me. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. So, goal kick. And uh, unless they can figure out a way of doing something in seconds, what they failed to do in minutes so far, it's going to be six points in the back for Chingdi. A reminder, we're crossing live to Thailand straight after this for Okono Esports against the Royal Cavaliers. You're watching live on One Play Sports, the BPG Asian Super League match line two and a half as they've got two minutes to salvage this FC Revival. Can they create one, one last chance? chance? Superfly guys come up from the back for this, oh, but they've had their pockets it. pinched. And if they want to move this quickly, there's not much in the way He's of defence. As they play it through, and the cameraman again goes walkabout, and they'll just go to the corner flag here, and they'll soak this up. And at full time, well played, Ching Di. Ching Di and well won played, both well games played. by a goal to do in the first match tonight. It was a pig brain penalty in the second one. Billy Hai Yun, that man who averages 1.5 goals per game, only averaged half a goal a game tonight. But one of his goals, or the one goal he scored tonight, was enough to secure the second three points. Just the one so, highlight. Um, I have to say, over the two legs, uh, Ching Di deserved the six points. They have been the better side. They've been a good passing side. Uh, sometimes I think they overdo it in the penalty box, but uh, 
goals from Super Mike and uh, Billy Mayun have uh, given them two wins here. Signer on title says, I wish Pro Club was more professional in the future. It should be made more famous like other esports games. Your thoughts, Nitin Nami? I, com see the goal, sorry. I completely agree. Uh, that's the goal from Billy Mayun. Uh, a nice little finish. Uh, he's got himself... Uh, He's got his sorry. He's got his team three points here with that goal. And uh, back to the question: um, Pro clubs is a format that EA are not very uh, happy with because uh, FUT is their main money making machine. It's all about the money. Those corporate so, so and sos at EA Sports. If you're watching, that's sad. How about spending some coin on some servers, boys? There's the updated group F table. As you can see, uh, the Apricot Press Play game uh, finished. Nil nil in both, so two points for those two sides. And uh, it doesn't look pretty for FC Revival, but Nitin makes the point. They can still, if they get results against Press Play and FC, put it this way if they get four points uh, against Press Play and FC Apricot, they're very likely going to be in the knockout stages, but still with work to do. All right, I think uh, the plan is now to cross live straight to Thailand for Econo oh. Esports against Royal Cavaliers. Run us through these team lineups. Nitin, some familiar faces with the Cavs. Very happy to. Uh, the Royal Cavaliers. Um, hope you guys remember us. Uh, it was a fun time in the what tournament was it? The one play pro, pro club, club challenge. challenge. Yeah. So uh, the Royal Cavaliers are playing a three four three. The three centre backs are Rose Blink, newbie here, and Mantuan. Mantuan, of course, a legend from the uh, our pro club series here on one play sports. Goalkeeper is Rifan Kuyok. He's uh, not your favourite Thai goalkeeper, a Vietnamese goalkeeper, though, is he? Who's your favourite Vietnamese goalkeeper? The trades again. Love the God, I miss him. Okay, anyway, uh, the two central midfielders are Kao and Hype Banana. So, Banana and Kao in midfield, very interesting. Um, right midfield is Fan Kill. Left midfield is Mr. Tungsten. He's another uh, world-famous name in the uh, one-play sports pro club scenes. Uh, Tong Lee plays right attacking mid. Bin YH10, a very fearsome striker, plays up front. And Fu Trang plays left wing for uh, Royal Cavaliers. So, a very um, familiar and offensive lineup for the Cavaliers. <laughs> Uh, and can I confirm something sure. with you? Yeah, what's up? Uh, the other two teams in this group, which is Group H, are PSHM and Jubbly. That were the games we were supposed to bring you last night. Yep. They split victories. So three points for two each one, of those two, two one, teams. Right? Yeah. yeah. So the pressure's on both these sides, the Royal Cavaliers and the Kano Esports. Who do you make favourites going into it? Um, haven't had too much of an opportunity to see Kono Esports play, but uh, the Royal Cavaliers will always... Uh, give teams a run for their money. Their team, they like to play football from the back. They like to play a uh, nice quick passing. So uh, I'll be favouring the Cavaliers here. But uh, on to Econo Esports. Um, they are playing a 5-2-3. So yeah, so we've got two teams that are playing um, rather attacking formations. Once, yep. Yeah, just, just okay. defensive defence. Uh, keep an eye out for the Assassin. 12 goals in 24 matches for him. A striking yep. threat for the Ties. Right, let's cross live to the Econo ground. I believe we are ready to go. I was told we were ready to go, but we're going there very shortly. That gives you a bit more of a... Um, yeah, can we hit the lineups to get it, guys? Because I haven't done uh, Econo sports. It's okay. No, well, you can do yeah. verbalise them, Nitin. You've got it. Oh, yeah, no worries. Yeah, okay. So, show basic in goal. Uh, Job B is playing left wing back. Julius, Bas Lockhorn and uh, Town Nimal are playing centre-backs. Ted Bringers at right wing back. Yum Yum and Juti B play make up the uh, central midfield. Rainy Boys is playing cam. Dot 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 X is up front with Assassin 16. And as you mentioned, Assassin 16 has a very good goal scoring record. 24 matches, 12 goals. And uh, he'll be hoping to make the difference for his team tonight. OK, we're pitch side then. Econo Esports taking on Royal Cavaliers. Now, hold on. Are we going to the Royal Cavaliers? Are the Royal Cavs playing at home first? That's not what I was told. I thought we were in Thailand first. We're playing in Thailand, is it? Correct? So it is Thailand. So why are the Royal Cavaliers playing from left to right then? That's not right. If we're in Thailand, it would be Econo, wouldn't it? It's the, the home team plays left to right in the first half, correct? It's okay. Let's take this as the we game. Oh, okay. Then, yeah. uh, tournament director yeah. Yusuf. And a, game, a night full of surprises. He'll catch up. But we do know the Royal Cavaliers are in the red playing from left to right. And the Econo Esports boys in the white and blue. Just to confirm, we are playing this first leg in Vietnam, which was a change to the advertised fixture. But nevertheless, it doesn't make any difference. We're going to enjoy them both home and away over the course of the next 30 minutes. And uh, now down the right-hand side, we come. And this is already being played at quite a fierce pace, Nitin. But the Cavaliers, we know, like to move the ball through midfield quickly from their time in the Pro Club Challenge. And this, like the previous two matches, I think where the midfield battle was won by Ching Di, is going to come down to who can get that transition best dealt with in midfield. Yep, agreed. And also we have a potential lag uh, problem because we've got two nations again. Yeah. One from Vietnam, one from Are Thailand. Are you seeing any bag? 
Uh, not yet, but it is uh, undoubtedly going to creep in. Here's some space on this near side. They're going to win a corner. By the way, Trung Dang, our dear Vietnamese friend, says he's wishing the Royal Cavaliers all the best. And he tells you, Nitin, that Cao, the centre mid for the Royal Cavs, is the player to watch. Cheers, Trung Dang. Always appreciate your uh, valuable input. And uh, oh, oh, what a save that is! Oh. Well, that is some save from show from a refund in goal for the Royal Cavaliers to keep them clean sheeted here and Econo Esports giving the Cavs a real scare early. Yep, 10 minutes in and uh, Econo have found a way behind the Cavaliers which is not a very good sign for the Cavaliers. They're playing a 3-4-3, a very offensive formation so the three centre-backs have got to be spot on. Uh, can I just say, apparently, uh, I've just done some research on Cow. He's at the he's at the heart of all the good moves that the uh, Royal Cavaliers... No? Okay, we'll park that one. Can we, we'll, edit, yeah. we'll edit that out later. Nah, I'm just not in the mood. Now, now I know my one was bad. So, Econo Esports <laughs> is, hey you. Uh, had a bit of a wake-up call there by Econo, and that will give the away team confidence here because, I, I again, we had this argument all the way through the knockout matches when it's home and away, and I think the team in there. I think when you're playing the group stage, it's almost an advantage to play away first because anything you get is almost a bonus. You are always on this home and away advantage. It's fine. It's, it, it, it's a do, matter do of... You a, a, do you remember a soap opera called Home and Away? No, I remember days of our life. Neighbours? So. Nah. Cheers. Did you never get Neighbours and Home and Away in, in Singapore? You're 12 years older than me. Remember that? Yeah, I do, yeah. Charlie Chaplin movies. Did you guys see a Charlie Chaplin movie? I didn't go see, but I've seen one on TV. Uh, Econo Esports coming down the right-hand side with Tongue. Trying to deal with some good work. Uh, they play two right wing back. They play two wing backs. This Econo Esports. So on the face of it, they are a very attack-minded side, aren't they? Yep, they're both playing similar formations: three four three and uh, five two three. So it'd be oh, nice skill there. Lovely work. It'd be interesting to see um, who has the better of it, especially with regards to the wing backs, uh, left and the left wing back, right wing back, bombing forward. Who, who does it better? Probably gets the game, gets the win. Yeah, good work to get it clear from Din. As the Cavs try and get something offensively for the first time. Oh, he got that in? He has kept it in, but it was dealt with very well indeed. By, was that Reino boy? I think it might have been. Rose Blink, a familiar name to regular pro club viewers on One Play Sports. They run into trouble there now, and there could be a break on here for Econo Esports. They'll get a free Good kick, surely. From no free kick. That's outrageous. You thought Tungsten was fair dues there. I thought that was a brilliant tackle. Uh, typical central defensive midfielder, but uh, he's playing right mid today, but a fantastic tackle nonetheless. Now down the right-hand side they go. Caught yeah. inside and... Oh. Chance to get it going for the Cavs. It's Tung Lee. Tung Lee to Din, and again, they just can't get it going in the final third. The Cavaliers, Econo Esports, with the disadvantage of being the away team here at the moment, look the more likely. They're looking much more clinical and creative in the final third. And that's what the night's been missing so far, and it isn't it? Creativity in the final third. Yep, uh, we've seen plenty of that in the Pro Cup tournaments that we've run before, but very impressed by Econo so far in their start, uh, considering they're the away team and they should be having a bit of lag. Um, they've started very brightly and uh, they look very, very confident on the ball. And they look more comfortable with the three at the back than uh, Royal Cavaliers have been in this. Oh, that was a rash challenge. 30 minutes. Referee's having a chat here. Now, what's the decision? No card. I thought for a minute he was going to reach to the virtual pocket and get a virtual card out of a virtual colour. But nothing doing, virtually. So, Econo Esports bossing this, but they haven't got the goal to break through yet. And the Royal Cavaliers, we know from what we saw of them in the Pro Club Challenge, they can strike at any moment. But it's Econo Esports that are bossing possession, which is a good sign, as Nitin said. Bearing in mind that the away team here visiting Vietnam from Thailand will be in. Thailand, by the way, at the Econo ground for the second leg. Oh, good ball. Lovely ball. He's onside, but couldn't get the shot away. Hey. All our teams tonight have been shot shy, haven't they? Yeah, that was a weird one because I saw his player not running towards the ball. It was a more of an angle run, so um, unlucky there. He might have been offside as well, but uh, lovely through ball, lovely idea from uh, the, the Cavaliers. Tong Lee. Ooh, Through the middle to Din! Bin! Can he get it away? Ah, Can't do good it. Good defending though, Ikono, well done. Still, the one thing that strikes you is the chronic lack of shots here. 
Lots of good build-up play, more so from Econo, in fairness, but Royal Cavaliers have looked at times that they could be back to their dashing selves. They're not playing in a Cavalier-like manner, are they, Nitin? No, they're not. Uh, they, they are actually, I would say, Econo have had the, the better of the first half, but having said that... Oh, here's a chance right in half-time, and we saw a penalty just before half-time in the first game of the night. We're not going to get one here, I don't think, as we find out what time will be added on for stoppages. My bet is only two minutes because this game has thrown quite freely. There's been hardly any breaks in play for corners or whatnot. Here's Din. It's a hopeful ball. Whoa. He's onside. Can he knock it back? Bin! That is a bin blinder. Bin, bin, and he bin. Bin, bin, and he bin right at half time. It's an absolute screamer. And the Cavaliers, who've been second best throughout the majority of the first half, a halfway to the first three points of the EPG Asian Super League, Nitin Amia. And how fitting for Bin to find the bottom right bin. Fantastic finish, fantastic player. We've seen him do this before. And uh, I wouldn't say it's a well-deserved lead for the Cavaliers at halftime, but uh, Bin's finishing is and has always been superb. So I will not uh, deny them that. You know, they, they, they kind of deserve the lead at halftime, I yeah. guess. And we talked about them not being very cavalier like that was certainly cavalier football. And, uh, well, they've been uh, lethal there right at half time. It came out of nothing really, but Bim with an emphatic finish, the goal of the night so far. That's not saying much because we've had one defensive disaster and a penalty for the only two goals we saw in that all Hong Kong clash between Chingdi and FC Revival. Mm -hmm. But it does set up a very fascinating second half now, Nitin, because uh, Econo Esports will have seen enough in that first half to know they can score. And I'd venture to suggest we're going to get more than one goal in this game. I think there's another goal to come in it, don't you? Agreed. Econo were the more impressive team in that first half, especially because they're away. So um, they will be confident of, of getting a goal in the second half. But having said that, I have to say that goal from Bin, I think it was either Fan Kill or Tong Lee with the header back. And that was the perfect setup. So a uh, great goal overall. Um, Bin with, again, a fantastic bottom right finish. No chance for the goalkeeper. And. Uh, We'll see what Econo can do in the second half. We haven't seen much of Hype Banana. I remember he had that distinctive blue hair. Hipe. I, mean, I was told by you, so we were calling him Hipe through the Pro Club Challenge. Yeah. I'm told it was Hype by you, so. Yeah, I think it's Hype as well. Yeah. Uh, but, but Hipe sounded classier. Uh, but I can't see. He had that blue hair, didn't he, during the Pro Club Challenge? Unless he sh changed his hair, I'm not actually sure whether he's out there. If anyone knows the Cavs team, can you tell us if Hipe or Hype Banana's out there? Can't see that blue hair that we... He is, I saw his name earlier. Okay, so he is there, but with different hair. That's very confusing. Meanwhile, Econo Esports trying to get back into this game. And I wonder, did the Royal Cavaliers strike you as the kind of team that are going to try and shut up shop now and see this out defensively? No, they are not that kind of team. Um, but if it gets to the 75th minute mark and it's still 1-0, I can see them becoming the kind of team. Because the results are all that matter at this stage. Look at this from the Cavs. Oh, this is crisp counter-attacking. Nice work from Puntran. Bin waits for it. Tong Li. Tong Li looks for the options. That's a lovely pass sprayed out to the far side. They now try and make it happen down the right. Oh, look at the twisting and turning. This is it's the Cavaliers. Offside. We know he's got to be a mile offside there, and he should have seen that, to it's be fair. Poor pass. Poor pass, but nice. Uh, bright start from the Cavaliers here in this uh, first uh, opening seven minutes. Uh, found the right wing back in lots of space, so... Encouraging signs. Kono Esports, though. Oh, again, they just seem to be panicking a bit, but they've been gifted an opportunity here. Manarin gets it through. And the newbie here, I think it was at the back, just coming across. They'll get the corner out of it at Kono Esports. That's an interesting delivery as well. They should pick up the second phase here. They need the big men to stay up for this. They're evacuating the penalty area like there's a bomb scare the Econo Esports boys why aren't you staying up in second phase there are they panicking about getting caught on the counter yeah it's a it's, it's a common occurrence in uh, pro clubs to immediately get back the second you know you're not going to win a header so uh, I don't blame them for doing it now to this near side and tier bringers tier bringers is that tier bringers or tear bringers t-e-a-r is tier or tear I think it must be tear bringers, mustn't it? Because he brings tears to your eyes when you watch him play. <laughs> I guess so. We've got lots of uh, Ooh, weird yeah. names as usual. Here's a chance on the edge of the area. Econo Esports still not cleared yet. They need to get this shot away, though. Too narrow angle now. 
and the Cavs have got bodies back and I think they're happy under the circumstances to concede the corner, but they've still got just over 30 virtual minutes to last out here. That's four minutes of real time. Yeah, to be fair, Econo had broken through the Cavaliers' defence early in that first half, but since then they've struggled, so the Cavaliers are looking rather comfortable oh, at the back. Oh, look at that for a shot, and ooh, second bite of the cherry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, blocked both times, but there's plenty of venom behind that. He got the timing spot on, but now, as Nitin said from the corner, they've got to trap back and make sure they're not caught out. And ball. caught out they may be. In they go again, Tong Lee! Tong, Tong, Tongi, Tongi Lee! Goal. And the Cavs have wrapped the points up now. They caught Econo Esports on a classic counter from the corner. And how about that? Tong Lee take a bow, son. 2 0. Heartbreak for Econo. They were just at the other end. They were so close to getting that uh, equalizing goal. Fantastic defending from the Royal Cavaliers backline. And uh, they found a way to counter. Tong Lee was found perfectly. And uh, his finish was outstanding. So 2 0 to the Cavaliers. And uh, it looks like they're going to take home the three points here in this uh, first game. And of course, crucially, they're going to get the three points on their home turf. I wonder whether they'll find things trickier in Thailand. We'll bring you that game live here on One Play Sports in just a couple of moments' time. And meanwhile, do they fancy three? All of a sudden, it's opened up. Oh, good ball. The bin. It's oh, Tom Lee's going down. It's going to be a pen. Oh, surely. Nitin Nambier, your thoughts on no pen? Um, at first, I thought it was a pen, but having, uh, you know, given myself an extra second to think about it, I think uh, Taunimal did really well there to to stop uh, Tang Lee's run, and uh, it may have been a soft penalty. We'd have to see the replay, but... Tear bringing eyes. No difference. Nikono now, I don't think they believe they can get two goals in 20 virtual minutes. Assassin, that's a great pass, though. Can they get the shot away? Or a free kick on the edge of the area? The answer to both those questions is no. Coming again, Nikono. At what point do you start now making plans to just make sure you win the second game when you know this one is gone? They can use this as valuable intel for the opponents. They got to face. Oh, mile out. Not sure the keeper saw that. Is it taking a deflection? No, it's a goal kick. Yeah, the keeper there was. Uh, I think he he dived a bit too early, but uh, no harm caused because the uh, shot was off target. So it was weird to see him dive there. Tong Lee, Rose Blink. Side is Assassin Tier bringing eyes. Well, the Econo, they've just not been as clinical when it comes to moving the ball quickly. Their build up plays look very attractive and pretty at times, but they've just simply not got enough shots away. Yeah, they've got enough men. Com oh, good ball. They've got enough men committed forward. I think the main problem is um, they're not having enough players running in behind uh, the Royal Cavaliers defense. And uh, that's how we saw them create problems for the Cavaliers early in the first half. And since then, there hasn't been uh, too many runs in behind, too many runs down the channel. So it's been relatively easy for the Cavaliers defenders. Yeah, they come again. Mantuan there. Manutan. Over the top. And again, we're just counting down the seconds there, aren't we? Because there's no way they're scoring two Econo. I mean, do you think they're going to be a different proposition on the home turf when we go to the Econo ground straight after this? I think so. There, there have been uh, moments of um, promise here for the Econo boys, and I wouldn't uh, count them out of the second leg because uh, they, they could have been uh, suffering from a bit of leg issues here in the, sec in the, in the first leg. And uh, in the second leg, with them playing at home, it should be in their favour. So... Uh, we'll see how much of a, of a factor lag was. By the way, Nasi Katok and Apricot, who are playing now, yep. uh, won one, I'm being told. 80 minutes into that game, Nasi Katok won, Apricot won. That's the latest score for you. Just updating you on all the... What a weird team name, though, Apricot. Right? Yeah, we see plenty of weird team names, though, don't we? You get lots of them. As we count down the seconds. Here. Yeah, you could know they're having a bit of trouble getting the ball out of their half. And uh, well, good play, they managed to. And uh, they've got a counter here. Oh, good ball. Oh, they've got plenty of time and space to work with here. But Assassin doesn't get the ball. So overall, I'd say a well-deserved win for the Cavaliers. They haven't been tested too much at the back. And uh, they've been defensively solid and well, offensively they've been great. And I think they survived the early 15-minute blast from Econo Esports. So at that point, like they might be the real deal. But Royal Cavaliers experience in this sphere. We saw them, of course, in the Pro Club Challenge. And we saw, well, it's, they're practically... I mean, that's the key. When you realise that the entire back three 
of the Royal Cavaliers, a, a Vietnamese internationals, you know they're going to be tough to break down at the back. That's why they make up the back three of an international side, Vietnam, who are, are, are very powerful in the region. Yep, uh, fantastic players in the squad, fantastic players who've had uh, experience in big tournaments, and I'm sure that's helped them out today. Uh, so Nasi Katok and Apricot, 1-1, one, one, uh, I'm being told, full-time in that one. What group's that in, Yusuf? Is it in Group F6? H in group H that yeah, is. Yeah, just the goals will do things, guys. Okay, this is the first goal. Fantastic header back there. I think it was either Fan Kill or Tong Lee with that header back, but it was the perfect setup for Bin. And he found the bottom right bin. Fantastic finish. A well deserved lead for the Cavaliers. Keep, no chance for keep the keeper. Absolutely no chance. And how difficult Love is that? that how, how difficult is that to execute timing wise? Um it's difficult. The finish is definitely difficult to execute, but I think uh, the more impressive part of that was the teammates' awareness of where Bin would be and uh, the header back was absolutely perfect. And this was a chance Great for save. the Econo Sports team. I didn't give Refund Your Love more, enough credit for that. That was one of the saves of the night. And this was the second goal, a perfect ball for Tong Lee. Look at that. And that's a finish. Stunning on the volley. And of course, they scored that goal seconds after they just cleared the danger from a corner. Yep, uh, fantastic stuff from their defenders to uh, avert that dangerous opportunity for, for Econosports. And uh, again, we saw earlier in the game Econosports rushing back from a corner and uh, we know why now because they, they know the pace that the Cavaliers have on the break and uh, we've just seen uh, how damaging they can be. So... The match highlights, unfortunately, from an Econo Esports point of view. Hey, what's this guy's Valderrama with a nice shot? He's got the nice head. This is the one, it didn't look like it took a deflection, but it just spun wide in the end. It just didn't get on target. So that's where we're at. That's the three points in the bag for the Royal Cavaliers. Do you expect them now to go to Thailand and double up, or will we see Econo Esports as a different proposition now? Um, in their group, the other games were draws, right? Uh, it's a bit confusing, actually, because I'd had down that the game that Nitin told me, Nasi Katok, are they in the same group, Nasi Katok and Apricot? I had them. I had this group down as PS, HM and Jubbly. That's not the case, no? So who's in Ching Di's group then? Yusuf? Who is who are the other two teams in the Kono Esports and Royal Cavaliers group? While our yes. tournament directors well, are the tournament director checking. can't tell me instantly, he should be the tournament director. Yeah, that's what I said. So when you said to me the other game in this group is a draw, that was incorrect. I'll be talking to you in strong terms, Yusuf, after this. Please stay behind after <laughs> school. Uh, back to this second <laughs> match. School, I'm writing stuff down and he's telling me something different from what I've gotten written down. Shambles, quite frankly, tonight. I'm not happy. Um, right, so we're going to this second game. There was enough, I think there was enough there in the nucleus of what Okono Esports had, um, had shown in the first 15 minutes that they could maybe... I mean, if you uh, you assuming they're going to have some kind of advantage playing at home now against Vietnam, yep. I know it's a bit of a lottery. What difference that makes? I don't know. But they weren't. They're not a lost cause, are they? No, far from it. They're actually a, a pretty impressive team. Uh, the Cavaliers again have many. Uh, um, ex how how do I put it? They they have lots of experience yes. from well, taking that, part uh, in tournaments like uh, like the ones that we've organised at international and club level. And I think the key to it is as you saw in there, they have the defence defence to keep a clean sheet. And if you can keep a clean sheet, you simply ain't getting beat. It's as simple as that. Exactly. And uh, we saw that in that previous game. But again, Econo are a bit of an unknown force. I thought they did well in that first game. Unlucky to lose 2-0. But uh, they need to, uh, in my opinion, what they need to do in the second leg, they need to commit more men forward. They need to run down the channels. They need to run in behind. They need to cause these... Uh, Three centre-backs of the Cavaliers, lots of problems. OK, remember, LSFC, like, share, follow, comment is what we're all about. Give that uh, one play eSports Facebook page a follow. We're going to take a very short break, and then we'll be back uh, with the second game, our final match of the night as we go to Thailand for Econo eSports against Royal Cavaliers, the return. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a couple of moments.
Welcome back live into the One Play Esports Spectrum. If you're just joining us, had a very interesting Monday night. This is uh, the VPG Asian Super League match day two point. Revival earlier on tonight, and we've just finished our first. Are you doing the sign language for one nil now? Yeah, and we've, we've just had our first in game in Group Eight, which is Group H, if you want to call it that, <laughs> uh, between Econo Esports and the Royal Cavaliers of Vietnam. The Royal Cavs, the first team that me and Ethan ever commentated on together, uh, with a good two nil win. Two great goals as well from Bin and Tung Lee. And in this group as well, earlier on, as I mentioned, PSHM and Jubbly. They split 2-1 victories. So the equation is quite simple for the Cavs here. If they avoid defeat in Thailand, they'll be top of Group H tonight. And they'll know that, and that's a good incentive for them because the other two teams played last night. Yep, uh, but I do believe, knowing the Cavaliers as we do, uh, I do believe they'll be going for the win. They'll want six points on the table. They want to qualify as soon as they can. And, uh, you know, that also gives them the opportunity to, to give the, some of the substitutes some time to play. So... I think overall it works well for any team that, that you qualify as soon as you can and you give yourself your yourself and your squad a bit of game time. Uh, we will shall see. Uh, Yusuf, how far are we from being able to cross over to Thailand? Three minutes, I'm told. Uh, let's get, uh, if uh, Double T Travis is listening, let's get all the results up from the games from yesterday and the ones we have so far today, just to remind people and give them an idea of the teams that are playing. If you've got any group tables, let's throw them up as well. and We can go through what uh, people can expect. Have we got some uh, result graphics that we can put up there, Double T? We have. So let's uh, run you through some of the scores that happened in yesterday's games. We were all sp supposed to be live yesterday, but because of the, the uh, server issues, you didn't want to risk going live and bringing you poor quality football. And there at the bottom of the screen, Nitin, you can see that uh, split 2-1 victories. Interestingly enough, though, the 2-1 victories both came to the away team. And uh, the only other team that won away yesterday were obviously to the moon, who were much the best against Team Spirits. So that tells you... Doesn't it? That's a strange one for me that both those games finished in away wins between the two, two same teams. If you go along with the theory, as I think justifiably, that it's harder to play away from home with servers and lag and whatnot. Agreed. But another thing that you can read from those results is how close this group is going to be. We've got uh, these two teams, PS, HIM United and uh, Ghibli Esports, 2-1 victories. We just saw Royal Cavaliers squeak past Econo Esports 2-0. So I think overall, it's very promising for this group that all these four teams are on a similar um, level in terms of uh, their, their FIFA ability. So it's going to be a very tight group and it looks like it'll, it'll head down right to the wire. So that's the situation from Sunday's results. Earlier on tonight, we saw, as mentioned, Ching Di pick up 2-1-0 wins against the Revival. That means they top Group F after two matches. Um, the Apricot boys in uh, their group, S uh, Apricots, and it's Nasi, Nasi Katok. What's the, 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 the team Nasi? Let me just get there. Nasi Katok, that's right. Nasi Katok. And there are tonight's results uh, so far. What did you say? What? Nothing. You know if you whisper, it comes through on the microphone as well. No, I did. Have you got a wedgie? It did. Have you got a wedgie? Is that what it is? I had a bit of a I do apologize. situation down there, but it's all fine what now. What situation was that? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Oh, the game's ready. Yes, this is the results that we've had so far tonight. And so the press play and apricot uh, uh, games finishing uh, nil nil. Uh, disconnected, I'm afraid. So we're going to have to restart here. Nothing's going right tonight, is it? It's such a shame. Um, yes, so Nasi Katok. Again, I was sent. Uh, this is getting very good. Can you put the results up for me again there? Can I just see those results so far tonight, one time again? Thank you very much. Yes, so I've got Yusuf, tournament director Yusuf. This is where you've confused me. You sent me a text message that said, Nasi Katok 1, Apricot 0. Why did you do that? No, read the message. I'm not being funny. There's going to be a change in tournament director after this tonight. Unbelievable. He's got his apricots and his unique FCs mi mixed up. Either he's wrong or the graphics wrong, one or the other. But I think I know what's happened there. But anyway, they're the results we've seen so far. And again, the one thing we've seen, Nitin, other than those two standout wins for To The Moon, low-scoring games everywhere. Is that team just getting used to the new competition, just getting used to, used to the new environment and obviously playing sides that... I mean, this is why VPG... Uh, you know, I'm only teasing you, so... This is why VPG in Asia is so good, you know, because they bring all these teams from all these different countries together and it gives you the opportunity. It's just like playing real football, isn't it? You get to play against other nations and other countries. I mean, it's, it's a fantastic uh, environment to be in. Yeah, definitely. If I wasn't uh, commentating on these things, I, 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 I'd fancy myself to, you know 
gain some experience and uh, you know, play against these other players from different countries. Have you retired from pro club football or are you, would you like to... I, why don't you look into the camera now? I want you to give me a 30 sec... Pretend the camera... Make love to the camera, Nitin. Pretend the camera is interviewing you for a position. The mm. camera there is manager nice. of one of the top VPG Asian Super League clubs in the region. Mm. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds and I'm going to time you. And you've got to tell the camera why you should be the first name on their team sheet. Okay? I'll tell you, your time starts now. Um, I'm a FIFA enthusiast. I take FIFA seriously. I am a really good player. I think uh, I'm a really good team player. I actually play to make my teammates shine. I, I give them balls in areas that I feel... Um, you know, they, they, they can do their best work in. So I'm that kind of player. I'm a guy who wants to make the team play better. I'm the guy who wants to improve uh, with every game. And uh, if you're looking for that kind of player and a guy who's got decent passing ability, I'm the man for you. Look at that. It's bang on 30 seconds. That's if you got a clock in your head. Yeah, damn, 29 I'm the man. And Yes. And you didn't even have to mention the shirts. Nah, nothing to do with this. And yet. the best thing as well, when you have your team socials and you're travelling around the region, he knows all the best night spots, don't you? You know all those dodgy clubs everywhere, don't you? You can take the team out to. Are you talking about yourself or me? No, no I'm talking about you. Oh. I'm an oh, old wow. man, mate. Give me a exactly. Give, give me a beach. Exactly <laughs> why you would know all the dodgy <laughs> places. <laughs> give me a beach and a good book. I'm happy when I'm on holiday. Now that magical screen behind us tells us we are moments away from crossing live to the Ocono ground for our final match here on match night two and a half in the one that play sports coverage of the VPG Asian Super right, League. Let's it's go. Econo Esports in the white blue shorts from left to right. The Royal Cavaliers from Vietnam in the red from right to left. Let's hope we have a good game. The first game was a nice even game. Uh, Cavaliers just aged out uh, the Econo Sports boys, but uh, we'll see in the second game if Econo can bite back. Yeah. And, and a win for Econo here would mean that every team in that group is on three points. Yes, would be that would actually would tie it up nicely. Mm -hmm. But the Royal Cavaliers, they'll be hoping to repeat the trick that both teams performed in yesterday's openers in Group F, and that is win away. That's a good cross and headed behind, no chances taken. It's the first corner, less than five minutes in, and it goes to Econo Esports. Remember, they started the first game strong and ended up losing 2-0, and they got caught on the counter from a corner as well, but that won't happen here as they can reset when they go back for the throw. Keep the comments coming. LSFC, like, share, follow, comment. Yep, I think we're seeing uh, the same formations from both teams. So it's going to be a nice open game again. Both teams playing uh, a different variation to the 3 4 3. One's playing a 3 4 3, the other one's playing a 5 2 3. So essentially, five at the back when you defend and uh, three at the back when you attack. So it does give you lots of options. Shout out to Ayman Roshizam. He's watching with us. Thank you, Ayman, for checking in. He says, What's up, he says recruit Nitin for FIFA 21. Oh. As the shot comes in from a mile really out just over that. the bar. Ayman wants someone to recruit you for FIFA 21. I want to recruit you for FIFA 21, bro. You are the man. At Signer un Sign Untitled says, I've got a good idea. What if the Asian Cup final, the Asian Super League final, between we had the, you flew the 22 guys to be in the same place to play it? Well, without COVID, it might work. Oh. And speaking about working, show basic in goal for Economy Esports has had to work very hard there. Yeah. I mean, that's the plan long term, isn't it? Wouldn't it be great if we could have these showpiece finals in a real stadium setting? That is the plan that will always be the plan. Uh, unfortunately, we have, if it was an all Singapore tournament, we might still be able to do that. Uh, hopefully, we go into phase three soon. But uh, with COVID around, it's hard to do that. But the plan is eventually to get as many people as we can into uh, a, a tournament facility like we have here at the uh, One Play Esports Spectrum and get everyone's reactions and uh, it'll be lots of fun as well. So the Cavaliers having weathered an early storm again, they look like they're coming forward with menace and threatening power. They still manage to maintain possession and there's going to be a free kick here right on the edge of the area. Ooh. Now, I haven't seen a free kick scored from this range since Pancake Day on FIFA Pro Club. Will this change now? How hard is it to score from 23 yards out? I do it all the time. Oh, my oh. word. That's the closest to I've seen it. What a free kick that was. Did the keeper have that covered, Nitin? Um, it's hard to say. It, it, it looked like it, it may have lacked a bit of pace, but uh, sometimes accuracy is all you need instead of pace. And uh, that's what we almost saw there. Down the right-hand side they go. Oh, good play from Bin. That guy's the striker and he's coming back and winning the ball back for his team. So, work rate 10.10. Point 10. Econo have made again a, a, another strong start and since then uh, it's been all the Cavaliers. So, 
It's something they might have to work on, the intensity of, uh, of play throughout the match. Oh, this is lovely from the Cavs. They're looking good here. Can they put the finish in? Oh, well, I tell try. you what, they're striking some real good efforts from range here, aren't they? Was that Bin from Amal at that time? I don't think it was Bin, I think... Was it uh, Cow or Hipe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think maybe Tong Lee. But uh, again, uh, promising signs for the Cavaliers. They're getting into good areas. As we saw in that first game, Ching Di didn't like to shoot, but the Cavaliers are the opposite. They like to they like to uh, take their chances at uh, at goal whenever they can, and it's something I encourage because you never shoot, you never know. Oh, that's a nice through ball. Ikono now trying to build up from the back. Nice little interchange here on the right. And then the right hand side, Ikono. They need to get something going here. They've survived a bit of a storm and an onslaught from the Royal Cavaliers, but they need a goal and they need one badly. There was so much power and purchase on that cross. That's more like it. But again, that's the problem they're facing. That back three of Manutan, uh, I'm a newbie here, and Rose Blink are just top, top draw defensively, aren't they, for the Cavaliers? Yeah, and I have to say, you know, newbie for, for, for a newbie to be playing centre backs, absolutely fantastic for the Royal Cavaliers. He's not newbie, is he? I know, I'm just playing with the names. Just like cow. Can you lighten the mood? <laughs> we got a tumbleweed sound effect there, Sam. We can play, <laughs> play Gerd across the studio. Um, well, I thought there'd be more goals than this. We still haven't had a game tonight with more than two goals in it. We've had two one nilers, a 2 nilers in the previous meeting between these two teams. And at the moment, we don't look like we're going to oh, get more than one or two. Ball. He's onside with a pass. Ex -tot, ex -tot, now it's Colo must finish. Oh. What a save from Refund in the Cavs goal. Fantastic save from refund, but I think dot X dot dot X dot X should have done better there. Could have probably gone with more power at the near post. Are those X's or kisses on his name? I don't know. Or is it? Should we just call him dot dot dot? We should call him dot dot dot. And the good corner. Dot, but the dot, Cavs dot. are going to get there first. Was that handball? No, it wasn't. They do manage to get it clear. That's a good win in the air again. The Cavaliers. Oh, he's injured. Tong Lee. Maybe a concussion. You never know. Is there a concussion protocol on FIFA? They have to go in. They have to stop checked. the game, in my opinion. Stop the Got game right now. Got some great pace down this right hand side, haven't they? I think it's Assassin that does seem to be making some things happen for Ikono. Undefined. Play. Oh, what a ball! Through they go again. Oh, unlucky. Great ball from Bin. Nice runs, good interchange from the Royal Cavaliers. They're a real counter-attacking side. And uh, What I like about them compared to the other three teams, they're just not afraid to shoot. When they get in shooting range, exactly. they'll have a go. And there's a great cross! Good oh. save! Lovely save from Show Basic. Definitely not a basic save there from Basic. Uh, Let's see what you've done there. Tong Lee's injured, as you mentioned, it's in. You were, concussion, I knew it. You were right on top of the that. The ref should have stopped the game. Keeper came and got there. Now, Ikono. Sports go through the middle. Oh, good play. It's more like it. Now, can they get it out wide? Looks up. Uh, oh, the that's to come back. It was oh, the wrong option there, Nitty, cool. wasn't it? The wrong See, option. Bin again, the striker doing his uh, defensive duty, so no lack of hard work from the front line of the Cavaliers. Well, we're winding round to half time. I did think they want the three points, but they'll take a point now, the Cavaliers. I think if you offered it for them, four points from your first two games is enough of a pull to get you to the top of the shop with games against PSHM of Malaysia and Jubli to come. I do think Ikono will get a bit more desperate in the second half, so I, I do see lots of space for the Cavaliers to counter. Oh, from look at that ball, he's through! Cavs to take the lead at half-time again! Great call. The Cavaliers have caught Ikono cold. Bang on half-time for the second game on the spin. Nitin, what a finish that is. Puss. The Puss man. The push man with a really nice goal. There was nothing pussy about that strike. Smashed it into the back of the net with three minutes of added time to be played. And it's almost like it's part of their game plan. Soak up pressure, soak up pressure, and stab the Econo Esports boys in the heart right on half time. They've done it with their second game on the bounce. Yeah, but really good finish from Puss. A really good run as well. Uh, was one on one with the keeper, wasn't going to miss. And uh, the Cavaliers have done it again. They feed them on the counter attack right before half time. Perfect time to score a goal. Demoralize your opponents, get into the half at 1 0 up, and it's a perfect time to score in any, in any game, any sport. Exactly. If you can get it just exactly. before you turn around or you break. Perfect. As the, uh, we mentioned this before, who's the, the player that used to play for Liverpool that had that haircut? Xavier? 
Xavier, he played for Everton yeah, after that as well. Yeah, that's correct. Nice. Uh, puss. Puss, puss. Right before half time. Why is, it, why is everyone finding it funny when I say puss? If I was saying pussy, I could understand it, but it's puss. I'm not going to get involved in this. Uh, it was a really good goal from Puss, I have to say. It was a good finish. Do you like a good are, you a, are you a cat or a dog person? I'm a dog person. Oh, yeah. okay. Are you a cat person? No, I like pussies, really, more than dogs. Um, so now we're waiting for the second half to start. Uh, Puss Pussy says, I'm in Rish Roshism. I think we've worn that one to death now, I'm in. Uh, Come on, I'm in. back with us. Shazzle Swap says, go. Great to have you all with us, guys. Don't forget to LSFC, like, share, follow. I'm having terrible trouble with me wires tonight, Nitin. Sort me wires out for me. Uh, a reminder, Just we are back with off. you. Um, we're going to get back to the second half of this one shortly. Uh, live games coming up on Saturday at 11 p.m. Thai Gang. Where are Thai Gang from again? Um, Vietnam. Correct. Thai Gang of Thailand against Yangon of Myanmar and Amigos of Malaysia. Looking forward to seeing the Amigos Ooh, in action. second half. With Watch of MSG, huh? and you'll get Ayman Rosh Izam with you for those. Now, second half is underway. I believe we can join yep. in progress. Ayman Rosh Izam will be with you on Saturday night from the One Play Esports Malaysia spectrum. Fantastic, Ayman. So now, go to Bin. And now through in the middle. And now out to this near side. Can they get the shot away? The Cavs 2-0. There's no way back for Ikono. So frustrating for Ikono, but they've just been out defended in this game. It's as simple as that. They've been caught cold twice. And whenever in FIFA you can get in behind the defence, you're always going to have a chance. They can't clear this one either. It might be oh. two. That's been the problem, hasn't it? They've had more pace. Their attackers have had more pace than the defenders have managed to get in behind them. Now, I think it's just the way they set out the teams. Uh, Ikono have been playing a high line. The Cavaliers know that if they get into their central attacking midfielder, they'll have players running off uh, and, and into the space in behind. So it's just something uh, the Cavaliers have perfected in and, terms of game plan. And you spotted it with Bin, the work rate. I mean, I don't know if it's going to affect them being tired later on in this game, but the Vip Royal Cavaliers have worked all the way through the side. Everyone bar the goalkeepers covered plenty of territory. Oh, that's a lovely turn, though. Ikano could be in business. Strong defending, very, very good. Strong it's defending great there. Great defending. Was that uh, I'm a newbie? There's been a couple of team changes in the second game that we weren't made aware of. And there's a couple of players. Puss wasn't in the first game, was he? He wasn't in that first game. I would have remembered that name, Puss. Unless it's, a, it's a, an alias for Putran, who was in the first game. Oh, boy. Now, Econo oh Esports. You can see the Econo players are trying. They're trying to commit men forward, but... That's just playing into the uh, game plan for the Cavaliers, who, who will just well, sit back and counter. Yeah, they've soaked up 15 minutes already, 15 virtual minutes. That's two minutes of real time. There's only four minutes of time left to play here. And as long as the game's being played in the Econo Esports half, that'll suit the Cavaliers down to the ground. And they very nearly forced a mistake there. They did well to get it back to the goalkeeper. Show basic will try and get them going again. But at the moment, I'm afraid it's very difficult to see a way for Econo Esports to get back into that. But then again, I said it was very difficult to see a goal just before half time, and we got one of those for the Cavs, so maybe they'll come back and make me eat my words. This is better from Econo. Can they get the shot away, though? He's into the area. What on earth is he playing out there? Oh, boy. Well, they're very fortunate to get a second chance, but you can't afford touches like that in the area, that can you? That was it? such good build-up from the back. You know, they, they built it up slowly. They switched from left to right. Uh, intricate build-up, but uh, all wasted with that final ball. Now through the middle. Out wide. That's better. This is better from Econo, but can they make the pressure count with a goal? Oh, he's let that run out again. That's just not good enough, isn't it? Come on, Xavier. You've got to have the skills to pay the bills if you want to trot around the virtual park with that haircut on your head. It's just a disappointment. I think the Keno Esports, they've been out, not out muscled here, but they've been almost, almost been out thought and out, um, what's the word? Out crafted by the Royal Cavaliers. Perhaps. The craft oh, of the Cavaliers is the go. difference. And they could be in again. Lovely ball down the left hand side. Two red shirts arriving in the middle if they can find them. There's Greg. Oh my word, what a shot that and goal that would have been. Was it Fankill that struck that? I'm not sure, but it was a marvellous effort. I think it was Tong Lee and it was your man, Mr. Hype Banana with the cross. He paid Banana with a beautiful cross. So a good chance there for the Cavaliers. Again, um, taking their shots from wherever they can, whether that's inside the box, outside the box. It's lovely to see. And uh, it's something that Ching Di can take uh, in, in, into account, that, you know, you can shoot sometimes, it's okay. Yeah, that one goes for a throw. And, of course, now the Cavaliers will start looking at the clock, I'm sure, and thinking a lot of their tacky forays will be designed to wind the clock down. That one wasn't, to be fair. 
but they just can't get a foothold in midfield. I'm being told Nasi Katok, it sounds like a barrel of laughs there. Nasi Katok have drawn at 0 0 against FC uh, Apricot in their second game. So, my word, goals are at absolute premium tonight in the VPG Asian Super League. Defence is holding Sway Nitin. Will we see that as a pattern that will continue to think of? Will these sides get more confident and more expressive as the tournament goes on? Yeah, I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Uh, before that, Bean has oh! a chance. Oh. Well blocked. And Econo now have to try and break. Yeah, and I think that's exactly what's going to happen, Patrick. Um, you know, we, we'll have uh, KG affairs at the start. But as soon as the, we get to the, the second and third uh, rounds of the, of the group phase, you'll definitely see results start to change because teams will be desperate for results at that point. And... Uh, in inevitably, that will end up in uh, lots of goals and goal mouth action. Well, first day. Oh, scorpion kick there, but unnecessary. <laughs> the Cavaliers, look at that. They've lost the possession battle, but Econo Esports just haven't managed to do enough with the possession they've got. Adventures to suggest oh, good ball. they've had less possession, but more shots on goal, the Cavaliers. Well, that's a certainty. Oh. That's an absolute certainty. I think the Econo boys will be very... Um, they'll take some positives out of the two games here, but they'll be very disappointed with their final ball. And overall, um, they've, they've had trouble getting in behind the Cavaliers back four. Uh, back three, rather. It's JTM. Gets the shot away, but it's blocked. And now the clock is the enemy of Econo Esports. How good has Bin been, though? Oh, Bin's been, been brilliant. Bin's been absolutely bin brilliant. Bin binary, bin binary, bin bin baru. The Cavs have got six points, and uh, the and other two teams puss have got two. For you. Stop it with the puss already. No, puss is playing. You got pussy on the brain. You stop it. He's already scored. He's scored. Rog, Ca Rog Cavaliers with the corner. Can they get the second goal to put this game to bed? They've already won one game, 2 0 tonight, and they're now just three virtual minutes away from a pair of clean sheets here at the Spectrum. The one play eSports Spectrum, the West Wing, back with a vengeance. Match night 2.5 in the BBG Asian Super League. Oh, is there a twist Whoa. in the towel? Can it oh. come full time? Oh, they should have got the shot away. Oh. They've got to try and take some of these chances, Nitin. And I think that might be the last one they get as well. Because the Cavaliers, as you move into time, headed on for stoppages, are going to play this to the corner flag. Surely now, no, they go for it. Oh, and very nearly got it, but it no. was well taken by Sh Show Basic. One thing to note from that Econo eSports attack, um, Bean knew exactly the kind of trouble his back four was going to face. He was willing to take a red card, as you saw. He made a he made a tackle earlier to try and stop that that uh, piece of build up. So Bean knew exactly what was happening, and uh, he tried to stop it. So Royal Cavaliers, they survived the late scare, but that stunning well goal by the push man has given them a 1-0 lead win. They've won 2-0 and 1-0, one away from home and home. I think I'm right in saying, and Yusuf will correct me, along with To The Moon, the only team so far to win both their matches in the group stage. Is that correct? Uh, and Ching Di, of course, as well, with two 1-0 uh, wins. So uh, Ching Di and the Royal Cavaliers, the night belongs to them. FC Apricot and Press Play playing out. But look at the stats. Draws. Ten shots for um, the away side, the Cavaliers. Econo at home, and only was, managing one shot of yeah, target. And that was with only 42% possession exactly. as well. But they took shots from everywhere, it did. They really weren't afraid to go. And some of those, we don't see many long-range screamers in pro club, but this was very nearly one. Three times it went and scored from a, a long-range effort. Yeah, but I love seeing um, teams have shots when they have chances. Uh, as we saw in that first game, Ching Di rather pass or, or, or something like that. And so I how good really was this free that. kick? This is the closest we've come to a free kick goal since I've been covering pro club. This was Beckham-like. Very, very close. Let's see it from this You're angle. You're thinking Greece. Oh, well, outside of the foot, Noboto Solano. Look at that. So oh, very keep, unlucky. Keeper Good was, try. Keeper wasn't getting there if that was yeah, on target. Yeah, Keeper was beaten for sure. Okay, enough of these misses already, guys. They're enjoying all of this, aren't they? The Royal Again, Cavaliers. Uh, that was credit, really close. credit to Akono Esports, because Akono Esports are the guys that are selecting these. So fair play to the Thai lads. They've been beaten, but are still happy to uh, help everyone review the match highlights. It was a bet, bet, better pair of games than the Ching Di Hong Kong matches against FC Revival, weren't they? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, the formations played a part. We saw Ching Di and uh, Revival both playing a 4 3 3. This was a really good save. Yeah, refund with a save of the night. He, he had to reflect, he had to react to that as well. It wasn't straight into his body or anything. Yeah, he expected the uh, near post effort, and uh, that's exactly where the shot came. So, great reading from the goalkeeper. And this was a uh, basic, with a not very basic save. 
very very uh, it's a weird way to save it I have to say more like a ballet move or something but he dealt with it and uh, that's all that matters so now we see the goal right on half what time. a ball that was, who was with the assist then it, do we know it looks like Tom Lee uh, Tom Lee what a pair of games he's had and what about the finish from Puss who we don't think played in the first game but what a way to introduce yourself and stake a claim for a starting berth in the next batch of games with that right foot screamer keeper absolutely zero chance yeah the keeper there looks like the Witcher Henry Cavill from the Witcher but uh, no chance for the goalkeeper there a great finish from Puss Puss yeah. and a great win for his side oh, one more chance yeah, I think we'll have enough after this, guys. It's going on too long, but we'll see one more effort. Well, it was worth seeing, to be fair, that volley from the edge of the area. I mean, usually I criticise these guys for showing misses, but there were so many spectacular long-range efforts from the Royal Cavaliers. I honestly don't mind seeing them. Right, let's leave the highlights now. Please come back to the studio, and we will shortly wrap up the results and the upsta uh, updated standings in Group H. There are your results from tonight, Nitin. Obviously, the standouts, the two games we covered, the pair of 1-0 wins, but low-scoring affairs all over the shop. FC Apricot and Press Play couldn't muster a goal between them in 180 virtual minutes. Uh, and Unique FC and uh, Nasi Katok uh, sharing draws, and only two goals between them in those two games. So a low scoring ledger there. And again, is that a trend we're going to see continuing? Because listen, we all like to see goals. That's where the sexy action is. I agree, but uh, I can completely understand where these teams are coming from in terms of uh, keeping it tight in all, all, all the first two games. Yeah, so confirmation at the top. Royal Cavaliers sitting very pretty. Yet to concede a goal. They have got six points. And a goal difference now of plus three. They're going to be tough to beat. And it'll be interesting, though, to see what kind of challenge to them is put up by uh, Jubbly Esports and PSHM United. And, of course, with PSHM and Jubbly getting three points on the board already, the pressure is going to be very much on Econo Esports right from the get-go in their second round of matches. Any final thoughts from you, Nitin? It's been another great night of action. Our thanks to our wonderful tournament director, Yusuf, uh, our technical director, Sam Vick, who's... Uh, doing sterling work at One Play Sports, working ridiculous hours in the Caribbean uh, cricket, which I hope you're enjoying on the One Play Sports main page. Uh, whoever left out, Imran's here, Lim Yee's in the house. Uh, everyone, Helmy. fantastic. Helmy, sorry, Helmy, didn't mean to forget about you, buddy. Any final thoughts from you on our first return into live studio action? Uh, I think it's been a decent start to the competition. We'd like to see more goals, but I can completely understand why teams are keeping it tight in these uh, early stages of the competition. You're getting a feel of your opponents. You're getting a feel of, you know, maybe some new teammates in your team as well. So hopefully, as the games progress and the games become more important, we'll see more goals. Thanks to everyone for your comments and your likes and shares on the Facebook page. Don't forget to LSF. See, like, share, follow, comment. If you are new to One Play Sports, it's all about liking all the One Play Sports pages. If you're a gamer, you want to be liking the One Play Esports page. Jason and Travis, Travis doing uh, so much good work on there. Keep up to date with all our upcoming esports events. And of course, speaking of upcoming esports events, uh, the pro club action just keeps on a coming. There's an Indonesian league, I believe, being streamed Copa Indonesia. tomorrow. The Copa Indonesia. Uh, looking forward to that. That will be available in Indonesia. Bahasa to our viewers in Indonesia. And we are back in in the Malaysian spectrum for more VPG Asian Super League action on Saturday. Thai Gang against Yangon, Thailand against Myanmar in the first match at 11 p.m. And then the Amigos of Malaysia against Wuha of Singapore. So a causeway clash and Thailand taking on Myanmar, two fierce local rivalries. We are bringing them to you live on Saturday. Keep it tuned for the Indonesian action tomorrow. Don't forget the Caribbean cricket's back tomorrow as well. And as I mentioned earlier, do keep checking back to the One Play Sports pages because I am told by reliable sources, I just clean the dishes here, I don't know the big decision makers, but I've been told there are some rumours going around of big announcements coming to you in the way of live sport returning to the One Play Sports Facebook page, both virtually and really. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. Stay safe as we approach 1am here guys. in Singapore. We wish you bon chance. Thank you.